What the shit? You know, I, I can open up the bottom, right? If I shoot two across, then I can do two across, then delay the bottom two, shoot those, and then I can climb back up top. Like that. Are you fucking shitting me, dude? And then I need to shoot to... Okay, yeah, this would be... The timer, I hear the timer going. I'm like, no, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna run up and try to reset the timer. Fuck it. There we go. Ooh. Pretty sure everything is in good order. Alright, that guy died and respawned up there, died and respawned up there, that's good. Now the question is, I think some girl said rip because I think I have to grab that gold I'm missing from the left side. That ladder. So I think that's why she said rip, because I need to, uh, where there's like three ladders are mixed, I think I have to triple swap that so I can work my way back up to the top so I can come down and grab that gold. Which is just fucking asinine, man. Like, that's just incredible. Yeah. Wow. This fucking stage. Man. Why? That's what I'm thinking, like, you would have to, like, in, you'd have to get into the stage, know right away that you have to do that and just hustle the entire time, and you have to do everything, like, flawlessly to have time for that. There is time for it, but it's gonna be, like, fucking tight. It helps that, you know, I know exactly what I'm doing now, so I just need to drop and go. I fucking, look at this shit, what the shit is this? Oh yeah, this stage is super easy compared to the last. I'm not arguing that one bit. It's just the door is going to be precise. Precisio. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll take me 15 minutes instead of 3 hours. If I can get these guys to fucking spawn at the correct spots, though. Alright, that guy's going to spawn up there again. guys to, uh, you know, quit being dicks. There we go. And then I walk over top of this guy. Yep. And then open all this up. I mean, hell, and too, that's what's really crazy, just to get into the fucking door. Look how tight the timing is. Look at that. Like, that is right on my heels, man. Like, there's no fucking around with this, uh, this level's door. Fuck me! Fuck me! I didn't fucking wait long enough. 
Dude, this fucking... And, like, as I'm doing that, you hear it, like, picking up pace. Like, I feel like I do that triple swap too slow. And I feel like there's a way to just do it faster, and I just wait really long. Ah, oh, this fucking... I mean, I'll still have time. Like, if I didn't die right there, I could have easily ran out and got everything reset. So, I mean, I had time, but... It's gonna be tight. It's going to be tight. T I T E. Tight. Gotta do the swap, or can you grab the right gold instead? Pretty sure I have to do the swap. Because, like, okay, look. If I grab all that gold, I have to go out the bottom, so I can't get that, so. And if you look from the right, if I open up that, I can't get back to the left far enough. Yeah, so, I mean, you definitely have to do the swap here. And that's what I thought was strange, too. I was like, look at this ladder setup. There's... Like, this is the uh, ladder setup to do the swap. Like, right as I see this ladder setup and you see these three blocks alternating like that, like, this is the, uh... Like, this is the setup to do the swap, you know? So I thought it was weird that I didn't have to. There we go. <clears throat> Woo! That is fucking some tight timing, dude. No, I said T I T E. That's how you spell tight. guys are locked in there, and then bam, 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 bam. Hurrah! Tight! Tech tight, there you go. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell tight. Seriously? Look at this, again, instantly start up. This is, okay, PPO, um, the stage you came in and asked what stage, uh, level I was on, the level started with me in between two guards, because I had to fall down and go to the right. So here's another fucking stage where I gotta do the fall mechanic. I, they're fucking just in love with this for some reason. Like, somebody came up with this on accident, and they're like, dude, look at this, this is the greatest mechanic ever, and they're like, dude! And like, they found it out like at level 30, so they just started doing it every fucking second they could. What the fuck is with that? You know what's weird? Is there's that rope in the bottom of the left of where I'm at. What the hell is that? Okay, it is pretty cool, but, like, come on. I don't understand what that rope's there for. Yeah, that's what it's there for. Because I can't, like, shoot this shit. Like, I don't understand why that rope's there. The rope's... The rope's a decoy! Fuck. No, that's, that's not gonna do 
good, is it? The fuck? Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, the rope. Every time I look at it, I'm like, wait, is the answer to this right here the rope somehow? And I'm just, I'm not seeing it. Oh, I guarantee. I guarantee that's exactly what some girl's thinking. Because I'm an idiot. Like, I... <sighs> Maybe if I just back away from it and look at make a weird face, it'll just, like, the solution will come to me. destroy that block. If I can destroy that block with golden. So it's like, right, 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 right. So I need to be... Hold on. Destroy that. Destroy that. Then I can shoot. Yeah. B. My god, why did that take me so long? <laughs> but I... I don't know, I think the rope, I'm, I swear to god it was the rope just being down there. I'm like, I have to use this somehow. So I'm thinking like some super complex shit, and then I just look at it, I'm like, oh, all I have to do is destroy this one fucking block. I'm an idiot. The rope's like super important to everything, and it's like, oh no, I fucked that up. I need to get rid of this guard. I love their dance, man. You think if they were you think if uh I asked nicely they'd fucking teach me how to dance? They'd teach me how to duggy. Too. Um, hey, doofus, I hit A over there. Definitely destroy that, definitely destroy that. Now what I'm thinking is I actually need those to respawn and then I go back up on top of them. Say, so, yeah, fucking... Destroy... These two. Destroy that. Destroy that. Yep. I'm killing this guy off and I'm gonna, like, need him. Alright, so once I step over this block, I am stuck here. Well, I guess never mind. I didn't fall down. Made that so much scarier than I needed. Dude, every time, every time, some girl, every time I complete a puzzle, like, wow. Wow, you made that so much harder than it has to be. Wow, you're an idiot. That was, you made that so much more difficult than it needed to be. Just, why? Just praise me, that's all I want. Nope, nope, no! Nope. I did not mean to shoot that! Run! Alright. Oh, this sucks. This is gonna be fun. Dead. <gasps> Praise will cost 500 bits, or 5,000 bits. He's gonna be uh, kind of a pain to get, right? I'm not crazy for thinking that. No, I'm on an island. 
Fuck that up. Fuck that up again. There we go. Couple went together the wrong way. I really like the way I was going, that's why. I don't see I don't see how making this scary than it needs to be. Oh shit, I got two guys there now. Cause I, I, okay, I absolutely have to destroy these. Destroy these. Destroy that. Destroy this. And destroy that. Boom, boom, boom. I guess I mean I could like do like two at a, uh, one at a time or whatever. But I don't feel like I'm making that scarier than it needs to be. Then again, I'm an idiot, so. You know, I need to go back and watch the VOD of this and see how many times I called myself an idiot. Because I'm starting to hurt my own fucking feelings at this point in time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured some girl. Dude, this is a pain in the ass. I just want a save state just right here. Just so I don't have to sit there and mash the fucking uh, A button. To get back here. Did I do the same fucking... I'm an idiot. <sighs> I was like, I don't think I'm on stage 48. That's just not right. <sighs> hey! I'm on stage 48, guys. Did you know that? That's incredible. Yeah, good news. You seriously? I thought I was on forty-seven. I put it in twice. I'm like, did I'm on stage forty-seven? Game, quit giving me the wrong fucking stage. Stop it, game. I'm on stage forty-seven. It's like, when's this game gonna fucking learn? I'm on stage forty-seven. And then it's like, go to stage forty-eight. It's like, oh, I recognize this stage. I'm on stage forty-eight. I'm an idiot. <laughs> they just all blend together. That's the issue. I'll just fucking blend. <sighs> well, it was me. Oh, absolutely. That's one. I, I I think I even said that while playing this game, PPL. I was like, man, like if you bought this game when you were a kid, like you fucking you lucked out because this is money's worth right here. No, I missed it. Fucking money's worth. Pretty sure these guys are gonna kill me. Nope. Okay, good. Woohoo! Woohoo! The small victories! That's not gonna work. Watch the Dolby Hell Incarnate. <laughs> Alright, so, uh. Yes. Yes. Man, this sucks.
I definitely need to um, delay these, but like I have so little time to delay this shit. <laughs> now make it Really? That seems to be a c common problem with Game Boy games, man. They just don't like being fucking synced. Will you shoot the fucking block when I'm spamming B on it? Fucking dildo baggins? Jesus. That's not gonna work. I had to go for it right there, right? I'm just waiting for some girl to be like, man, you're making this way harder than it has to be. <laughs> I know I am! And I feel like I am, too. Like, I'm pretty sure I could, like, make this so much easier. Some way. If... God damn it, I have to go for it when I take out the bottom. What am I doing? was like <laughs> and the bad thing is I even got stuck on the ladder and I made it like still with that much time Woo! nobody make fun of me please okay so I gotta fall down the right side that's a given oh, are you kidding me what you could have done was after you get the key you can exit to the bottom what? No, you can't. You're lying to me, some girl. Alright, so I need to go all the way to the right and fall off. Well, I guess not from here. I can fall off, so I need to clear all this. Fourth block on that wall and fall down. saying from here like you shoot the fourth block on that wall and fall down I'm so confused by what you're talking about like that one that I just shot because that's the closest I can shoot oh you're meaning like shoot like this and do that Okay, yeah. See, the reason I didn't want to do that, though, is because I'd fall down and have to circle all the way back around. That's just... That's a waste of time, man. I'm speedrunning this. I don't have time to be doing that nonsense. <gasps> that's a fall-through block! <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Shut up, PPL. Okay, in my defense, I didn't know I was playing Kaizo Super Mario World game. Fucking stupid blocks, man. Uh. 
So I wonder how many of those are going to be uh, fall through blocks. And yeah, I probably should have seen that coming because, you know, this game's stupid like that. <laughs> oh man, that's super easy if you do it like that. Like delay and then shoot that. I don't know if that's what you were trying to say, some girl, if you were saying to shoot all four of them. But, uh, like shooting that one after delaying that one. That works really well. I, I Dude, there's no point in doing a heart rate monitor for GB games, you know? So, Alright, so that's a fall through block right to the left of the ladder. <sighs> so let's see here. And my best bet's probably to go down the ladder to grab that shit. Did that guy just grabbed a piece of gold. Okay, so I obviously need to kill more people. Heart rate increases as the door closes. Dude, my heart rate is solid at this point in time. I'm just done. My nose is itching. Like the inside of my nose. It's like the worst feeling ever. Is that even classified as itching? Don't, 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 don't. Alright, that guy got one, one piece of gold I needed. Solid zero, damn right. <gasps> no! Shit! I forgot I'm in uh Yeah. I forgot I'm what's this place called? A door? God damn it, I forgot I'm in a damn fucking place with the shit with the shit. Jump off! Jump off, dude! I hate this game. I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that I'm actually in a door, so I'm gonna have to do this quickly, and I'm gonna have to fucking deal with these guys. Like, I was wondering why you were talking about my heart rate increasing as the door was closing. I was like, why, man? Like, I can always make it to the door. Wasn't even paying attention. Zero foresight on my part. So this door is gonna be a pain in the ass because, uh, I have to deal with these guys. These guys need to grab gold for me after I kill them and they spawn. Plus, I need them to um, fall and allow me to walk on their head to get to the exit. So, there's a good chance that I break a fucking controller here. I can live with the puzzles and shit, but like when it's like RNG spawns and all that crap, it's like, oh, this is fun. Break my monitor. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not. Still so much easier than 46. You say that now. And I'll be stuck on this stage for the rest of my life. Alright, you guys are all over there. Terrific. PPO, shut the fuck up. I say that from the very bottom of my heart. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ooh. Oh man, that's a giant window. Alright, so here's the game plan. We're gonna walk down, grab these, get all that out of the way. Which makes no fucking sense whatsoever, because I think that did absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. But, still. Alright, so if we, uh... 
I think we just got to start off by going, like, we got to fall straight down, right? But the problem is I can't fall down because they'll just walk off the ladder and hit me. So I have to walk down the ladder, put a hole, and then just put a bunch of holes, have them die, and then just hope for the best. Fuck this stupid stage. I can't do the left side first. Like, I need to... Huh. That's just not a good spot. I need you guys to spawn better than that. There we go. I could have probably went higher, but I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it for the biscuit. I'm taking what I can... I'm taking what I can take. This isn't good. This is not good. We need these guys to hurt me. Get the fuck down here and die. There we go. We're good. We're good. Not even close. Alright, so now we need to fall down. Get rid of them. So I can do all that crap. Hoping to get all four of the stuff on the... All, all the crap on the right. And then come back up here. The problem is, man, like, I, it sucks. It's like, I can't drop down and grab this gold right here. Because if I do, when I fall down, they will move a little to the left of the ladder. And that'll hit me. I'm just gonna have to kill him. Hey, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm dead. I'm fucking so dead. Charge! Alright, so this level is stupid. Because I have to keep relying on them to spawn in a decent location for me to walk over their head. And then I have to fucking uh, hope that I don't get trapped like that. So I, I really want to do the left side last so I don't fucking free that guy. Only having to deal with two of them is so much better. You know, I had to jump off the right side, some girl. There was shit over there. I need, I need these fucking money bags, man. It's all about the money. Just so you can, so you can spread. Dude, if I would have uh, actually done that at any time, PPL, it would have been 17 hours ago when I was stuck on the same stage. I could have. You have a point. Why don't you guys play games so I can fucking constantly pin out, pin out, pinpoint your failures. Point out your guys' failures, but ha, see? It's not so easy, is it? And then, you know. I could play a game if you want. Yeah, but Xenobs, you're probably talking about like Minish Cap or something. Nobody wants that.
I have one more. Alright, so I just gotta kill this guy again. <laughs> like games that you're probably not awake when I do. You know, it's so weird that you say that some girl, because, like, you always are watching me when I play. It's like, what weird ass times would you be? I don't know. Like, you'd have to either stream before I do, or stream after I do. I have world record in the game only I run. There you go. Well, actually, not only you, PPL. What time do you wake up, some girl? I have no idea what time CDT is. Pretty sure it stands for Central Detroit time, though. I'm kidding about that, by the way. CDT is, um, that's also... Daylight, it's Daylight's time. I'm pretty sure, uh, because there's also EDT, which is, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, which is just stupid as all hell. I actually didn't even know that existed until, um, the Tiny Ten. Like, when Mo was trying to figure that out, we found out there was, like, a, you know, the EDT and the fucking, all the shit, shit. I'm like, what? Since when? No, spawn what? No, come here. Come here. Come on, guys. So did you guys hear the big news? Twitch has things called stream markers now. How dope is that? I'm actually really excited when I saw that. I was like, awesome. Because, uh... It takes me forever to highlight my runs. My runs. My, um... Games. Fuck you, dude. No, not stream marker. Stream marker. PPL, get your shit together. A stream marker is you press it and then it just writes down that time for you. So like it keep it puts a marker at that time. So um, like for example, like when I start a brand new game, I'm like okay, you know I'm getting ready to start. I can click that and it'll mark that time for me. So I know that time is when I started whatever game. Which is just awesome, because I, like I said, I have so much trouble highlighting all my playthroughs, because they fucking take forever. Because, like, the Twitch, the Twitch video player is so heavy. It's horrible. That's why, like, all my runs, I post on YouTube. Um, like for world records and whatnot, PBs, I post on YouTube, because that one actually fucking works. Whereas the Twitch one's like, hold on, like, give me 17 hours to load. It is. Like, it'll take like 17 hours to load, and then if you decide to uh, like move the thing at all, it's like, shit, hold on, give me, for, give me about 17 hours again. So like going through a past broadcast of mine, oh, this guy wiggled himself free. Going through a past broadcast of mine is pure torture when I'm trying to find uh, when I started a game and ended a game and whatnot. Horrible. Absolutely fucking horrible. Oh, they brought all the gold down. I just need the left side. Yes! That jump. I was fucking... I was gorgeous. Just need the left side. The big issue though is I don't know how I'm gonna do this part like right underneath me. I 
Because if they're on the ladder, which is usually where the fuck they are... They're not gonna make it. Damn it! If they're on the ladder, I can't just drop down. I mean, if I, I fuck it. Hey, right, never mind. No! Okay, that spot's fucking awesome. I can. I can make him drop, jump down from the top. That's what I just figured out, and that worked out beautifully. I wasn't prepared for it. You are not prepared. I don't even know what video game character that was. Thank you. That was Illidan. My goodness, man, you're just showing up for the best of things. I am dumb. I am very much dumb. Come on, good spawn. What the fuck are you guys all doing up there? Well, guess what, we're dead. This is fair. Oh, there goes the door. Arr, thank you guys for fucking spawning poorly, you fucking dicks. And then all three of them spawn up here. You guys are fucking assholes. Like, this game. Like, this is what pisses me off. Some levels, it's like, hey, here's a good puzzle. It's like, okay, I like that, I like that. This is a good puzzle. And then the next level, like, hey, here's pure fucking RNG. Good luck. Like, that's just so stupid. It's the Labyrinth of Doom choosing the spawn point spots, yeah. Fuck you, Labyrinth of Doom. There's been a few levels like this, and it's just, they're so stupid. Like, it's just pure fucking RNG, and it's like, why? Why did you think this was a good, I good idea? I mean, I have figured out on this game, like, if you seem to be in certain spots, they seem to spawn in certain spots, but I'm not even 100% certain if that's true or not. And the big issue is, like, even if um, that is how it works, like, you can stand here, they'll spawn here. You have to fucking find those spawn points. So I'd, I'd have to sit there and go through this fucking game. Like, through this, uh... Oh, I hit fucking A, I meant to hit B! So I'd have to sit there and keep replaying this over and over and over again, see exactly where I have to stand to get them to... die. Or to spawn there. Like, that's just... That's stupid. It's the counter revolution, man. That's the issue. That's what's causing these spawns, not the labyrinth of doom. The counter revolution is just throwing everybody out of whack. It's funny though, um, Granin was in there saying that, like, he would rather deal with, like, more levels on this game than have to deal with the doors. And when he said that, I was like, you're crazy. These doors aren't that big of a deal. I still maintain that they're not that big of a deal, but I can understand why he said that now, because the doors are a pain in the fucking ass. It's just dumb, like, when you're trying to complete a puzzle or something, and instead of worrying about the puzzle, you're constantly walking back and forth inside of a fucking door. Why did I destroy that block? Whatever. When this resets up from the door's fucking universe. Like, yeah, and uh, it's just, it's, it's dumb. No! I did not mean to do that. It worked out. Never mind, we're fine. Nobody heard me scream like a girl. No, the doors start at 25.
I know that because that's when you have to start putting in passwords. Calabonga dudes! Quite sure you're fucking wrong. Well, I'm dead. GG. Let's restart this. I mean, you can load it up real quick. Um, just, if you have the ROM, just load it up. You know the password for every single stage. R-Y-0-4-2-6. Sad that I had that fucking memorized. But, just type in that password and do any stage. I, dude, I'm busy playing a giddy. <laughs> I was trying to say video game. And I almost said giddy o -vame. Woo! I, like, started saying giddy and I stopped myself. You should feel offended. I am offended. He's gonna respawn there. So PPL, um, me and some girl were talking earlier. Fuck me! I was like, oh, that block's full, and I walk on it. Me and uh, some girl were talking earlier because I mentioned Chinese food. I don't know where I was going with that. Like, I was gonna say, what's your take on Chinese food? But I don't understand why I had to bring up the fact that me and some girl were talking about it because. Mainly me and some girl were talking about how she could get Chinese food delivered at 3. Anywho, what is your take on Chinese food, PPL? What?! How have you never fucking eaten Chinese food? What the hell is wrong with fucking Finland? Or is it just you? You know, the bad thing is I'm pretty sure you're closer to China than I am. I'd have to check on a map or a globe or something, but... Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, like classical, you know, dishes that... No! Fuck you! I hit start! It didn't register the start! Um, dishes that are, you know, like, authentic Chinese dishes, like, those exist. Yeah, I mean, true, true, but... Still, either way, it's fucking amazing food, so... PPL's wrong. Yeah, what do you eat? Like, I'm so confused. Like, what do you mean you eat, like, trash? Exactly that. LMFW. Random nonsense. I was too busy reading that and I died. If it's made in China, it can't be authentic. Wow, that, that was racist, PPL. American food is amazing. I fucking... I did another. It didn't work. Something. Okay, we need to pick up the pace. I want to beat this game before 24 hours. That's my only goal right now. My only goal is to beat this game before a fucking full day. No more fucking around. Everybody stop talking. Stop shooting the shit. It's time for fucking serious mode. Oh, I accidentally hit my fucking... Oh god, no. I hit my, um... Whatchamacallit? What's this thing in front of my face called? Not microphone, but... Ah, there we go. I can't believe, like, I, I don't- egg rolls are just nasty as shit.
So I can, I can agree with literally everything else you just said, but why in the fuck did you mention egg rolls? You'd kill someone over a good spring roll, really? What do you want the fuck about, some girl? Really? <sighs> you guys are weird, okay? Let's just... You guys are weird. Egg rolls are fucking... Nasty as shit. I was gonna say something else, but I couldn't think of anything clever, so I went with nasty as shit. Yeah, um... Dude, what the fuck? I hit A, game! Quit doing this to me! Yeah, I know a spring roll is not an egg roll, but I have no idea what a spring roll is. I don't think I've ever actually eaten a spring roll. It sounds amazing, because I instantly think of spring. Dip that in duck sauce thing. But then again, I'm, I think people think I'm weird, too, because, uh, like, sushi is a big thing, but people are like, oh, man, sushi is amazing. Sushi is this dish that, like, people want to spend a fortune on for some reason. I think sushi is disgusting. So... I love, absolutely love, like fish and chips, you know, um, battered, deep fried fish. Absolutely amazing. Raw fish is the most disgusting fucking vile thing ever. I'm assuming that's a spring roll. Fish and chips are lies. What the? Huh? Crisps. Okay, that looks delicious. That looks absolutely amazing. What is that? That looks like... I don't know. It looks like maybe green pepper? Carrots? It looks like some type of meat in there, maybe. I'm horrible at identifying food. It looks like maybe chicken in there. I don't know why. It looks like chicken to me. It looks amazing. I don't pay for bait. Fish and chips is amazing, dude. I'll finish this before 24. Hold on, let me stare at this picture of food. That's an egg roll? And that's Okay, it looks delicious, but it tastes like crap then. How's that? Because I have eaten egg rolls. I've tried multiple times, and they're just not good. Bait equals sushi, yeah, yeah. I, I, I picked up what you were putting down. I completely agree. Ramen is where it's at. I've always wanted to eat, like, a legit bowl of ramen. You know what I mean? Man, quit linking food. I'm starving. And I'm trying to beat this game in sub-24 hours. Knock it off. Dude, there's shrimp packed into that. Let's go to Japan. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Japan because of the food, and that's about it. That's a Viet. Um, Viet. 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 I have no idea how to actually say that word. Spring roll. Chinese are the small ones that are deep fried. The food at your kitchen. Who the fuck do you think I am? A gourmet chef? Now, I've, I've tried to make some food. Like, the big issue with making more, uh ethnic food is you need a, like a lot of shit that I can't find in my tiny ass Walmart. And I think uh, my big issue too is I hate spending money. Like I die a li little inside every time I have to spend money. Literally die on the inside when I spend money. And uh... click your heels three times, Sam and Jan. I know. But I die a little every time I have to actually spend some money. No, I should have just bounced off his head. And, uh... 
a lot of the stuff that you buy to like make this. No, get your ass down here. No, come here. No, come here. Like the stuff that you'd buy to make these, uh... yeah, these meals, these this this food stuff. Fucking stupid door. Like, I don't think I'd ever fucking actually, like, you know, be able to use all of it. Like, I went to make uh, General So's chicken before, and all the stuff that they required, like, hey, get this, get this, get this. I'm like, fuck that. Because it was just, like, a bunch of random shit that I would never use again until I went to make General So's chicken. So I'd have to, like, just purposely, like, make a shit ton of, like, you know, I don't know. Stuff that I will never ever use, except when I'm making, like, this one dish. And I don't ever really cook that often, so. Asian grocery stores are actually super cheap, there's any- Some girl, if you had any idea of where I lived, you'd know how asinine that comment was. There's, like, no... The eth okay, ethnic shopping where I live is Walmart. There's a little, um, a little tiny, like, cupboard. Like, a little tiny shelf that just is Asian food. <laughs> that, like, that's what you get. Like, if you want anything, like, ethnic at all, you get an aisle of Mexican food, which is, I mean, like, it's mainly just, like, beans and shit like that. Like, stuff to make, like, tacos and whatnot. And then, uh... They have, like, one shelf for Asian food. <laughs> What's it like in Ohio? It's not bad, man. You know, it's funny, because I see PPL writes the state I currently live in, and then right after, either IMF or LMF. I can't tell. It's one of those two. He instantly says the state I was born in, so we got all that covered. I think Walmart does have wonton wrappers, but L and F, okay. It's so hard to tell, because, I mean, that could be a capital I. What the fuck does a cap capital I look like on Twitch? Well, that's, like, usually when I have trouble figuring out what uh, a letter might be. I don't know if you guys know this trick, but it's the greatest thing ever. See, yeah, that looks like a lowercase L. Yeah, see, that's you can't blame me for this. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but if you ever have, like, um, or if you're trying to figure out, like, a letter or a number or something like that, because, you know, O's and zeros look the same and all that nonsense, go to Google. It's the greatest thing ever. I found that out one day. I was like, this is fucking amazing. And it just, it makes my life better. I'm dead. If you go, if you Google something, like for example, like me trying to figure out if that was an I or an L, if you just copy and paste it into Google, it'll just be like, oh, it's this fucking, it's this. What's the matter with you? Because like I have a, I have a program, uh, a password, you know, thing, where I store all my passwords and it also, it also has a password generator. Well, occasionally I actually have to type in my own passwords. Um, like, things where I can't, like, copy-paste from my computer, like, put stuff on my phone. Um, I can't tell what the stuff is sometimes, so I'll just copy, like, the zero or whatever it is, and then just move it, you know, then, um, go to Google and be like, oh, dude, that's the fucking, that's the letter O. What are you doing? I'm like, there you go. Notepad++. plus plus. Yeah, I have Notepad, because I'm awesome. So this tip of the day from Atroz, if you guys are ever trying to figure out what a letter or a number is on uh, on anything on the internet, just Google it. I'm not Googling the entire password, dude. Come on. They all fucking spawned up there. Are you shitting me? I'm not Googling the entire password. I'm Googling... 
like just a letter. Like I'll look at it, Blake. I can type, figure out what most of it says. I hit the wrong button. I wasn't expecting him to live, but I, I can figure out what most of it says. But like the few like ones that I can't, I'll just copy and paste that into Google and be like, oh, hey, moron! It's the letter O. Do I have a car? Yes, I have a car. Got a life? No, I don't have one of those. I've tried. I actually, there was a guy. Um, I can't remember where this was. There was a guy selling a bunch of random shit on the side of the street one day. And like, it was like, okay, this looks cool. I pulled over, and one of the things he was selling was actually a life. I was like, that's just weird. But it cost too much, so I didn't buy it. So I still, to this day, do not have a life. It sucks. This fucking door is bullshit, dude. RNG door is so much fun. And I'm so glad they don't have this Got Milk commercial anymore. I can't remember, the life was really, really expensive, so... Why are we talking about cars? Are you a car person? Or are you trying to judge me based on my car? Uh, no, I have a 2005 Nissan Altima. I don't travel much. I need a vehicle to get to and from work, so it's perfect for me. I like it piece of paper with life written on it. Yeah, pretty much that, PPL. <laughs> PPL, shut up. Real man, Audi. That's why I don't have an Audi. Or Audi. How do you, it's Audi, isn't it? That's how it's pronounced? You had a 2004? I like it. It's a, it's a nice car. Dude, quit fucking spawning up there. What's the matter with you? Engine blue last month. Ah, oh, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. It always feels weird to me having like a car that old. I guess I'm not like too old because I know people that have like much older cars, but 2005 Honda Santa Fe. Cool. Also, fuck Teslas. What do you got against Teslas, PPL? Or do you have something against, um, what's his name? Ooh. See, I got lucky. I bought my car off my, um, my uncle. So I got it for really, really cheap, and it's a really nice vehicle. Elon, yeah, Elon Musk, thank you. I, I love how that's the only time you seem to type in my chat. <laughs> it's like whenever I'm confused about something, oh, uh, here's the answer. Is the answer. It's like having my own private Google. I love it. Yeah, I got lucky when I bought my car because uh, my uncle was selling it. And he took really good care of it. And uh, I got it for three. What was it? 3,800? Yeah, 3,800. I'm so glad that you're not. So, I appreciate what you're doing. Make it! Make it! Yeah. Oh, there you go. Shit, man. Now, the bad thing is, like, right after I bought the car, like, so much has gone wrong with it, and it's like... I hate owning a vehicle. Because I feel like there's so much shit that can go wrong with it, and on top of there being so much shit that can go wrong with it... Um... Dude, will you walk off? Can you walk off? Yeah, he can. Shit. Doesn't work. Um... There's so much that can go wrong with cars... And if it, like, it's always so hard to tell what it is, you know what I mean? And I hate that, like... It is, it's a giant money sink, and I hate it. Well, the bad thing is, like... Like, computers. I get computers, you know what I mean? 
I, well, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't completely get computers, but I have a general knowledge of computers. Like, I can figure most things out. And it just sucks, because, like, with cars, like, I feel like it's, uh... It's just so up in the air. It could be just so many different random fucking things, and I hate it. But, like, a computer, I feel like it's, hey, uh... You know, this is going on? Well, it's, you know, probably this. Like, it has one thing that could be wrong with it. Whereas, I feel like with, uh, cars, it's like, Oh, this is wrong with it? Yeah, it could be 75 things. Enjoy that. Fuck, they're all over there. Come on, boys. Funny thing about me watching the stream is I believe I followed you from my AGDQ 2014 something that I didn't until recently start watching. Glad I did. Awesome! Holy shit, yeah, that was, uh, it was Minish Cap, and it was fucking a horrible run. Don't tell anybody. Oh, you bastards. Dude, don't do this to me. You guys fucking- come on. God! God! I'm going back to my fucking cheese nips, dude. Fuck it. I hate this RNG bullshit. How long was I sitting there killing those guys? And I could not get them to fucking spawn decently for me. Nah, my, my control is not greasy. See, that's why you have clothing. You just wipe it on your clothing. Greasy clothing percent. It's like a giant napkin. Now I'm just hungry, man. And I had cheese nips, so I'm like, fuck it, let's eat some cheese nips. That's the only reason I wear clothing. I have clothing for other reasons. The only reason I wear clothing is just so I have a giant napkin attached to me at all point in time. Like, ah, oh, shit, I spilled something. I didn't just take off my shirt and just... Hey, look at that. I didn't spill anything anymore. You know, it's... Whoever invented clothing is a fucking genius. Now, that's cool that you actually, um... That you actually just started watching me from uh, the follow that you gave me way back when. Yeah, it was weird because uh, I went from like 800 followers to like 1800 before. No, I went from. Charge! Oh my god, I actually made it. Holy shit, I actually made it. Um, I actually... Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think and my brain is just... I went from 800 to like 900 or something like that. Uh, followers before my run. Like, before my run even happened, I gained like over 100 followers. And then after my run, I gained about a thousand and then I saw like none of those people <laughs> but in their defense I um, I pretty much stopped playing TMC I stopped streaming I stopped all of that like pretty much right after my run which is not like if you're trying to build a viewer base the worst thing you could possibly do is go to a big event like a GDQ and then stop running that game and stop streaming like right after.
I actually came home. I remember I came home from that and I streamed uh, Castle Crashers just so I could talk to everybody from the TMC um, community. It was it was horrible. Oh, PPL, shut the fuck up. I swear, I'm one of these days. I'm coming to Finland just to punch you in the fucking teeth. What's it like in Finland? I have no idea. I think that guy's got my last pile of gold right there. Nice and peaceful. <laughs> Not in fucking when I get there. Hey, my last pile of gold. No. You fucking cock weasels. No igloos. Why would that be? Why would that be a thing? I'm dead. I hate this game. I fucking hate this game, dude. Can I get out of this stupid fucking RNG level? That's twice now. I've gotten all the gold, and all I had to do was get them to spawn in the fucking correct spot, and they just didn't. You should get, do the kills on the right side, from the right side. I don't think it really matters, PPL. And I did get the kills from the right side. I was just up above, and it's like, oh, well, fuck you. Wow, PPL, come on. Um, I, I lost interest in the GDQs because I, I hated submitting to a GDQ and then, like, getting denied all the time when they accepted the same old fucking games over and over and over again. That's the reason why I'm just like, yeah, fuck GDQs anymore. I mean, they're so great, so awesome, but I'm just... That's why, um, actually, a marathon that me and two people from the Game Boy speedrunning community actually put on actually uh, is next weekend. I don't know if you guys have heard of Handheld Heroes, but it's a marathon of only handheld games because we all felt that the handheld just didn't get enough love in the big marathon, so we decided to host our own marathon. Okay, PPO, you are now unmodded and banned. Give me a minute. <laughs> You're such a dick, dude. It's just so rare for a handheld to get into um, the GDQs. If a handheld does get in, it's usually something from like a big, uh, a big title, you know. Um, yeah. Like, Samus games. And I'm fucking stuck in the corner. Fucking shit! Jesus, I hate this fucking stupid game. I just want this level over with. This level's done. It's easy. I, I know how to do this entire level. And I'm just relying on RNG at this point. There is not an HLR run. Um, I submitted, but apparently 24 hours is too long. Uh, it wasn't even like... It was weird because... Like, with the Switch, when we first decided to do this, one of the big questions people kept on asking was the Switch. And we all had a discussion about it. Me, EBC, and Slash, we talked about it. And we all agreed the Switch is not handheld. Somebody asked about the Virtual Boy, and I don't remember talking about it, but uh, Slash was just like, no, that's not a handheld. 
we're not accepting that. I'm like, okay, apparently that's not a handheld. We're not accepting that. <laughs> I can understand uh, it not actually being a handheld. Like, I can, you know, it's not actually a handheld, but I would have been fine with it being in. Because I don't see it being, like, in any other marathon any other time soon, you know, so. Oh, oh no, 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 no. See, according to, like, okay, if you go to, uh, again, we go to fucking... Um, Reddit, because that site's just amazing. I do love Reddit, but there's a lot of idiots on there. If you go to our gaming, you know, the gaming subreddit, it drives me fucking nuts how many times I see the picture, like, man, it's insane how far we've come. And they'll have a picture of a Game Boy with a Switch right next to it. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, one of them is a barely portable console. Like, it's supposed to be a home console. The other one's a fucking handheld. Like, what do you mean how far we've come? Eh, it drives me nuts. A lot of people see the Switch as a fucking uh, handheld, which is just absurd because it's not. It's it's 100% a home console with the ability to be portable, but people don't see it that way. So we had to, when we first decided to do handheld heroes, we had to tell people like, no, the Switch is not a fucking... I'm stuck again. Are you shitting me? We had to be like, yeah, the Switch is not a fucking uh, handheld. It's a goddamn home console with the ability to be portable for like six hours. Um, pretty much like how you would define a handheld. I mean, how do you define a handheld? If it's something that has more of a, like, has a battery life that lasts longer than like two fucking hours. So pretty much all the Nintendo handhelds, Game Boy Color, the Game Boy, the DS, 3DS, the Advance, um, the Sega Game Gear, the Wonder Swan, um, I know I'm missing some, I'm not, I can't even think of it. Much like that, yeah, something you can play on the go without a power supply. But not necessarily like you can play without a power supply. Because I mean you can with like the switch, but something that's a fucking handheld. Like <laughs> I don't feel like I need to actually describe this. Thank you, some girl. There's some that is the Atari Lynx, the um Neo Geo Pocket. There's a bunch of handhelds. It's sad, I would love for there to be more um more systems involved, but of course like Nobody really runs that stuff. We actually had a, uh, a Wonder Salon submission last year. It was fucking awesome. And we had... We actually have a four-way race on the Game Gear this year. I was like, what the fuck? How did that happen? So, I'm actually super, super excited about the four-way... Four... Blah, blah, blah. Four... Blah, four-way race. There we go. I've always had issues with uh, W's and R's. I've always had speech problems. Not even joking. So. Don't make fun of me too much. Time has made a run to AJ. Dude! Next year, man. Unfortunately, the schedule is, uh, set for this year. Obviously, with it starting next weekend, but... Yeah, it's funny, though, because uh, last year, as we were doing handheld heroes, everybody would, like, was hopping in, and they were like... They would hop in and they'd be like, man, this is awesome. I can't wait till next year. I'll submit a, I'll submit a run. I'm like, awesome, dude. That sounds good. And then, like, all those people just, like, disappeared. Like, none of those guys showed up to submit a run. I'm like, oh. and that's going to happen again this year. There's actually already somebody that joined the Discord. And they're like, oh, awesome, man. Fuck, I wish I would have known about this sooner. I'll just submit next year. I'm like, what? you walk off? Are you gonna walk off? You're not gonna walk off, you dickhead. Oh! He's got another another pile of gold! Talking about handheld heroes. Yes, we are Xenobs. Which I'm really disappointed in 
everybody from the TMC community for not submitting. So that includes you, Xenubs. I know you're not particularly a good runner from the TMC community, but still, my feelings are hurt. That was pretty rude, I'm not gonna lie. It's just because I love Xenub so much and I don't get to pick on him. Alright, come on, please, for the love of all that is holy. Why? Quit fucking spawning up there, you piece of shit fucking game! Please, dude, fall. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I hate this fucking game. I've been stuck on this level forever because of RNG. This is so fucking stupid. These are the levels that I've raged the most at on this game. All these RNG fucking levels. This is just so dumb. Ah. Well, to be fair, PPL, the old boys were just better than you, so. The route has changed so much, it's weird. The worst thing about the about the TMC now, though, is the fact that fucking Wii U is the fastest. That's stupid. That's just dumb. That will always be my biggest complaint with the speedrunning community. And it was always, will always be my biggest complaint with Cosmo. Oh, uh, emulators are just the worst thing ever. Emulators are just like Satan's spawn. Emulators are horrible. Oh, that's an official emulator? Yeah, that's good. We accept official emulators. So what the fuck sense does that make? I always hated that. Always, always hated that. I've always had that standpoint, PPL. Like, it's just stupid. It is. It's it's the worst fucking argument in the world. I Cosmo might have been in his right mind at that point in time, because that was when he switched to the, um... The whatchamacallit? What's that fucking stupid thing called? What was that dumb thing called? That pissed me off so much when Cosmo did that. And the thing that bothered me the most is everybody was so okay with it. Like, everybody was like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, this is fine, this is absolutely fine. Like, we don't care. Like, what the fuck do you mean? The I, yeah, the IQ. I was like, they're the IK? K? I was so pissed off by that. And everybody, like, was completely okay with it. Everybody thought it, thought it was, like, the greatest thing ever. Yeah, but at the same time... There's no okay, it was emulation. You're, you're crazy. What the fuck are these guys doing? They're just done moving. <sighs> I tried to jump off the last second I missed. Official emu ruling is usually if it's slower than console, then we cool. No, okay. The, it, my issue though is you're simply saying the official ruling for emulators is if it's slower than console, we're okay. But then they're like, Oh, if it's an official emulator, and it's faster than console. Yeah, we're okay with this still, as long as it's official. Like, it's so dumb. Like, an emulator's an emulator's an emulator. Like, I can understand saying, no, we don't want this emulator that's 75 times faster. But it's crazy to me that people will find an emulator that is slower, slower than the official emulator, but faster than console. And they're like, oh god, no, we can't, we can't accept this. It's faster than console. But you guys use official emulator that's way faster than this emulator. Yeah, but that's official. Like, that's the dumbest argument in the world. A 
Like, that has always been one of my biggest complaints at the speedrunning community. I understand, like, you have to draw a line somewhere, there has to be rules, all that, blah blah blah. But my thing is, like, either make it no emulators allowed, or make it where it's, like, no emulators faster than console, or something like that. It's just, eh. Well, the big issue is, like, you'd have, like, a bunch of splits, like, you'd have, you know, a bunch of different people playing on a bunch of different consoles, or to try to match it up with everybody, you'd have to do something like, um, like, actually have somebody go through and time, like, the difference between everything, so. Well, my thing is, it, what always bothers me the most, though, is the fact that, holy shit, I actually died. Holy hell. What's always bothered me, though, is the fact that You'll have people accept a certain way of running a game, and then people will find out that something's faster. And they'll instantly jump to that, even though it's... I don't know. Like, they'll jump to that because it's faster, and the speedrunning community is all about playing the game as fast as possible, and blah blah blah, but... I just think it's dumb to be like, hey, we gotta go out and buy a brand new fucking console or whatever so we can play this game the fastest. And you're not actually playing the game faster at all. You're playing the game at the same speed you were before. It's not like you magically became better because you're playing on a faster console or anything like that. You're just having a faster time because that runs the game faster. Or it runs the game with less lag or something. Like, it's just... Yeah, and that's one thing I didn't realize actually happened, PPL. Um, I learned Crash Bandicoot 2. I learned Crash Bandicoot 2 100%. Love it. Absolutely love it. But, as I was learning it, I found out that all the runs are on the PS2 because you can do the uh, faster speed thing. So it cuts down load times. I'm like, that's just so dumb. Why the fuck did I not get rid of that block? Now I'm just tilted. I'm tilted because of this stupid fucking RNG stage I've been stuck on for like an hour now. It's an easy stage and I've been stuck on it forever because of RNG. See, I did 2Z. Um, but then again, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on Game Boy Player, so I can't really say much. But I was so used to Emulator when I switched to uh, Game Boy Player, it just was uncomfortable. And that's one thing I do like about Emulator, though, is the fact that you can use any setup. You know what I mean? You don't- you're not restricted to, like, the one controller that works to this console. I don't know, my I think Emulator should be allowed, period. Just that simple. That's how I've always felt. Emulator should be allowed. I've never understood the- no, emulators are, like, the worst fucking thing that's ever happened to speedrunning. Find an emulator that's close to the same speed as the console, and let that be okay. That's how I've always looked at it. People try to, uh, people try to make this shit way too official, and it's just weird. It's like, the community's not that huge already to begin with, and then you have a lot of communities where, like, you could, you have to go out and, like, spend money if you want it to be quote-unquote official. It's like, you guys suck ass, man. It bans the most accurate emulator? That makes sense. What am I doing? Because I have tasks. Uh, see, I just, I don't get that. Right there, that's, it's that simple, Z. And that's like, you guys just recently, um... Like, for the, like, the two days I was back on the Minish Cap, Discord, you guys had a vote about turning the fucking emulator times back on. I'm like, why were they fucking turned off in the first place? I really wish every game had an in-game timer. I really do. That's like when I got the world record for Mole Mania, I got a hold of, uh, Vlack, SR, and I was like, hey, I got the RTA world record, 
of Mole Mania, but it sucked ass compared to the Chords run. But it's the RTA world record. I was like, is there any way that we can, um, like, you can adjust the leaderboard to have an RTA time and an in-game time? And I was like, could you please put me as second? He put me as first, and he did add in game time, though. Game Boy Land is now hosting me. He seems to host me a lot. Yeah, and that's that's so nice. I like, just don't get some of the dumb rules of uh, the speedrunning community. Like I said, what bothers me about it though is we are such a small community to begin with, and people try to people just make it so much harder to get into speedrunning. I did not mean to walk off there. It's like this is already a small, tight knit community. And we're just gonna make it super fucking hard for you to get into because we're gonna have all these arbitrary fucking rules. Which I can, like I said, I understand rules need to be, need to be there. I get that. But I just, I don't know. Yeah, PPO. And that's the thing is, uh... There was somebody I watched. I remember I watched somebody that had an auto splitter on something. I was like, dude, that thing is just gorgeous. Like, auto splitters are the greatest fucking thing ever. But yeah, that's, I, like, I don't know. I know when you guys, you guys were testing which, uh, console was, which was faster for TMC, and you found out that virtual console on Wii U was faster. And I see that Toad's run is now on the Wii U Virtual Console. Like, see, that's that's why I could never get back into Minish Cap. Like, even if I wanted to, and I've thought about it, I look over and I see that I'm like, yep, yeah, fuck that, I'm I'm good. Cause I I need the world record, man. What, who who fucking who just plays who just speed runs to speed run? I only speed run for the world records. So if I don't have the capability of getting world record without switching to a, uh... Without, you know, if I have to switch to a different console to get world record, then yeah, fuck that. I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking go to the door now. I'll worry about that gold later. Holy shit, that is a name I have not seen in literally forever. What's up, Chrome? How you doing, man? And I'm pretty sure it's more than 30 seconds. Because I remember we did that video, because I actually helped in the video, where we compared uh, MGBA, v, uh, VBA, uh, 3DS... Wii U Virtual Console. We compared like a bunch of different shit together. Finally got through that stupid ass fucking piece of shit RNG level. Man, I haven't fucking seen you in forever. It's so weird seeing your name. I'm not even gonna lie. It's just awkward. You're making this awkward for everybody right now by just showing up because. I haven't seen your name in forever. Alright, I'm obviously going the wrong way right now. Two more in one hour. Two more in one hour. We got this. Alright. So let's see, I need to grab all those, drop down. Okay, I can shoot that. I fucking shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I need to go to the left. So <laughs> Pretty much what I'm saying, Crime, yeah. I 
have to fall down and grab that, right? There's music playing upstairs, and it's just terrific. <laughs> Wish you guys could hear it. That's why I just like started doing that weird face. I don't know if you guys can even actually see my face that well, but that's why I did a weird face. Ignore me, please. So if I drop down there, grab all that, can, can I work my way back? I can work my way back up. So yeah, I need to get down here. The one thing, Wii U gains an advantage over consoles the home buffer. So I just... I don't know. Me personally, I think all, all games should be ran on the... Uh, like the... console. That it came out on. If it can't be ran on the console it came out on, it should be ran on like the next best thing, like the thing it was like made for next, you know, whatever. Like for example, you like you should have to have the cartridge. That's how I feel. I feel like you should have a fucking have to have a cartridge or a, a disc or something put into something. Hey, how in the fuckity fuck fuck do I get this fucking thing? Uh, some girl, you know what's weird to me? I'm sitting there looking at this, and it, it looks exactly like that one that I was having trouble with on earlier, but like massively stretched out. And I'm like, there's just no way that's the correct way to do it. fucking I mean I don't need to fall from the sky so I guess that's the big advantage all right never mind <gasps> run okay that's a lot easier than I thought never mind I was overthinking it I was overthinking it I need to what go up the ladder and I don't I fucking fuck I don't know. Get up the ladder, fucking destroy all the minutes. I fucking. I think I have to do the door last, right? Because I fall there, I'm stuck there, so the door has to be last. Which is just fucking awkward. But I imagine a ladder would probably appear on the right side, so I need to. If I destroy all the way down the, this ladder to my left, destroy it down the entire left side, if I can, I don't even know if I can or not. I can't destroy that block, though. But I can destroy down the right side and I have to. Yeah, I'm so lost right now. Alright, yeah, I can destroy down this, so. The issue is, though, I need that block to be gone, but I need these blocks to still be here. So... Because I need that, the one I just destroyed, that needs to be gone, and the one underneath it needs to be gone, and the one to my right, but I can just get that when I destroy the fucking thing. So I need to, like, switch the order that these appear. Alright, 
right before CK. <laughs> Damn it! No, I, I don't even know what my thought process was there. I'm so fucking confused by that area down there. What the hell are these guys? Hey guys, what's up? I could. But, uh, PPL, the door's last, and at the moment, the door is not my issue. So I don't really, I mean, yeah, I should check it out. I know I should, but still. Whatever, that's fine. Let's go check out the damn door. Make PPL happy. What the shit? Okay. And then a fucking fall through blocks too. Thank you, game. That's a fall through block. <laughs> I was hoping you couldn't see that face. <laughs> I feel, I don't know, like, I feel like the camera's, like, really, really far away, so I feel like you guys can't see my face. You know, it sucks. I have all the, I just grabbed all the, uh, gold, right? No! They have some, and I can't destroy any of these blocks. Alright, everybody can destroy that. That's a fall-through block. I need you guys to come this way. Holy shit! Easy. Alright, so there's the door. The door's easy. Door's easy as shit. So we know how to do the door. We just gotta outmaneuver the idiots. Sub 2 is free. Sub 2 is fucking free with the current route. Hey, what's up, crazy? Sub 2 is beyond free. Okay, to be fair, uh, Chrome, Sub 2 was free for a while, and they found a bunch of time saves. So they have found a bunch of time saves since I quit playing the game. And Sub 2 was free before I quit. Uh, Sub 2 of Minish Cap. Um... You guys found plenty of time savers since I've quit. Hey, wow, the Grand Grand here too. Jesus, everybody from the Minish Cap community showing up. A bunch of free sub two vouchers. Is anybody seeing how to do this? I mean, don't actually tell me how, because I'm trying to figure out everything by myself at the moment. But is anybody seeing how to fucking solve this? Thoughts on Gogo Beckham and Rubik's Cube. Gogo Beckham was a fun game, but got really, really uh, annoying really quickly because it was the same shit over and over and over again. Rubik's Cube, dude, I haven't solved my Rubik's Cube in a while. I actually own multiple Rubik's Cubes now. I have a little tiny keychain one. I have a 5x5. Um, a 5x5. A, um, a Scube. And a Pyraminx. Mars mission. Dude, fuck that game. If you're asking me, no, I'm god off wild. I don't have time. There's no way I have time to drop down, right? There's no way I have time to drop down. Drop down, grab that, shoot that block, and grab that. 
I had time. I had time. Fuck, I had time. Mystery tournament crown. What did I, how did I just do that? I had that. So let's destroy all this. Destroy that right before that finishes. Get there! There it is! Pretty much that, PPL. AKA Freeware Trash, 1% Piracy. Hell man, I honestly I don't even care about- Just don't give me puzzle games, that's all I ever get, is fucking puzzle games. I, I was able to get through this like perfectly my first try, watch me fucking fail this time around. You fucking prick, I got stuck on the fucking ladder. God damn it. <sighs> I told you, I was like, watch me fail, dude. Alright, I know how to do everything, so that's the good part. I will be hold on. My problem, like I said, my problem with Go Go Beck is it just gets really annoying really quickly. Like, it's the same shit over and over and over again. The levels are just, I feel way too long for what's actually in the game. Run! So I need to destroy that and go back up here and destroy all this nonsense. Fucking this up, hold on. Oh, if I don't see General Zod, there's a good chance my fucking fist goes through both my monitors. this up. I just did this. You know, I'm just... <sighs> okay. I just thought of something. space out the bottom too, and then I can just walk across. So I can destroy that. Ah! What am I doing with my life right now? Like all I had to do was walk down there. What am I doing? Ugh. My brain is just kaput right now. I, like I just did this and I'm like, man I got all this solved, this is gonna be easy peasy, and then my brain's like, yeah, we lost that information. It's like, Brain, but we just had it. We just learned this information, Brain. How could we lose it? Does not compute. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Does the black and white avatar really actually make it hard to tell if I'm live? Dude, my brain is just gone. I know I fucking just did this. I had to fucking... <sighs> okay. 
Oh, okay. I see what you mean. just walked to my death. Dude, why am I blanking on this? I, <clears throat> I'm getting pissed off at myself right now. I just had this solved, and now all of a sudden my brain just has no idea what the fuck it's doing. Well, like I said, some girl pisses me off. I already solved this. I had this solved. I almost had this level done. I had like two things of gold to pick up in the fucking, uh, the, the door, and I was done. But now my brain just, just yeah. I know I need to destroy that. But, oh my fucking god, dude. It's only been nine and a half hours. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> I know I waited until this was almost back and I destroyed that. I'm <laughs> I'm getting pissed off dude. <laughs> I had this done like and now I'm just uh, nothing Uh, every, every day on the weekend, Crumb. Every day on the weekend. No, that's not right. What the fuck am I? I just dropped down. I was like, wait a minute. I can just drop down and grab this. <laughs> Some girl, please save me. I, my brain is just gone. I just had this solved, and it just, nothing. My brain is dissolving. If you guys see, like, goo coming out of my ears, that's my fucking brain. Hey, right, Crumb, thanks for stopping by, man. It's good seeing you again. It's been fucking forever. and then delay destroying the block under it. Yeah, 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 I got that. But now I need to get rid of this big tower and then fucking... So destroy this down and then... Hold on. God, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, as you were, like, telling me how to do it, I fucking, my brain was like, hold on, we got this. <sighs> oh yeah, Graham, sounds fun, man, sounds fun. I'm sure I've never seen your name correctly. I say it so many different ways at this point in time. Alright, so now, the only issue is these fuckwads have uh, gold. So we need to... Moola! It's like moolah. Moolah! Oh, that guy died. Dope. Dope, that guy died. Oh, and that guy spawned in front of me! Ah! Not even close. Are you shitting me?
All right, so we don't do the door last. Cool. Nothing changed. Literally nothing changed, except for that ladder on the left right there, where those guys are. Ace Gaming LPs. What's up, man? How you doing? It's... Mola. Close, right? Got it. No Jamestown? Literally no idea what you just said. I, um, somebody's gonna have to explain the fuck in hell for la. Hyper Load Runner might be the worst and best game at the same time. Now it's actually it's a pretty fun game, but it's it's kicking my ass, and I've actually cried myself to sleep about two or three nights now because of it. Um, I had a nightmare once because of Hyper Load Runner. It's horrifying, absolutely, probably the worst nightmare I've ever had in my life. So. Other than that, it's not bad. Alright, so I have this entire stage pretty much figured out. Yeah, it is pretty fun. It is just hard. Um, okay, the question is, how do I get to the door? How do I get to the door, solve the, do solve the door, and get the fuck out? I'm really confused by that, because I have to somehow get into the door. Ah, oh, shit, hold on. No, there's only... Th I was about to say, hold on, I gotta use these guys. Never mind, there's fucking four spots there. There's only three guards. Um, what games are I regularly stream? Random Game Boy games. I got this, some girl. I got this. I'm gonna pick up that fucking ladder and move it over there. Is that an option? Can I start picking up ladders? Yes, that's 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 what I am. I'm trying to beat every uh, every EU and NA licensed Game Boy game. Variety streamer, hell yeah, man! I could never do one game. I don't know how people do that. That's that's torture. How in the fucking hell? Okay. I love how that was my... That was it. How in the fucking hell... Okay. And I'm just done. Okay, I can destroy all that. Go down. Destroy that. Run back. And no, no fucking way, dude. No way. Like that. And then I can drop in. Do the door. Finish that up. Hit that. Yep. Boom. Boom. Problem fucking solved. You guys thought a fucking you guys thought I was dumb and wouldn't figure that out. Ha, <laughs> showed you. You know what? I have to do the key I have to do the key and door first. Huh. Oh, interesting. Run! Game Boy game. Game Boy guys are the worst. What about Game Boy girls? Are they okay? Eeeh! <laughs> Pee -pee Come on, guys, get down here. I just need to get the gold from these guys. Hey, that guy doesn't have gold. That's a falter platform. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Game Boy is amazing. Game Boy is the bee's knees. No! Fucking- Pick up the gold! Run! 
I fucking got my heart a thumping. Cause I thought I walked onto the gold and picked it up and then I realized I didn't so I tried to fucking double back and grabbed it and I- nah. Got my heart a- heart to go pitter patter. Which is why I watch so much of it. I mean, that's why I watch it too. It's just so horrible. You know, you gotta watch it so you know what you're avoiding. Alright, now let's see if I can remember how to fucking do this. Hey, look at that, I'm a genius. Fuck it! No, I'm not a genius! I knew I should have delayed that one. I was like, I should probably delay this. And I was like, nah, I haven't delayed it yet. Guess what? I'm an idiot. Can you guys even hear me when I whisper? I feel like my mic's really low, so you just can't. And I'm just whispering to myself at this point in time like a fucking moron. Alright, Mo. <sighs> Good. I'm just gonna start... I'm just gonna keep whispering for now so you guys can't hear it. Mo, how do you pronounce your name? I've tried so many times and I feel bad every time I mispronounce your name because you're probably my favorite person in the world and I hate mispronouncing your name. <laughs> Thanks, look man. And by the way, Grandy, why the fuck didn't you submit anything for HH, man? I did! That's what actually makes it worse, Mo. I listened to it, I heard you say your name, and I'm like, okay, I know how to say his name now. Nothing. I have no fucking idea how to say your name. Mo's Belgium. Belgian. I just called you Belgium. I called you a country, dude. Mo, that's how much I like you. I just called you a fucking country. He is Belgium. He is the entirety of Belgium. <laughs> if you guys have any issues with the country of Belgium, that's Mo. stuck on shit. There we go. Oh, so is that why you you and uh, Bangair were celebrating? You guys beat uh, Brazil? Brazil! You know, I have these moments where I'm like, I'm a giant fucking idiot. These are, <laughs> this is one of those moments. I forgot that block was there. I forgot to destroy it. I'm like, ah, shit, I gotta fucking make room for these guys. Brazil! Alright, let's fucking keep the guys up top, man. I think that'll be easier. Yeah, don't like that, it's much easier. No, they're gonna fucking run down anyway. Have you tried not being a giant fucking idiot? I tried once, didn't work. There's actually a guy, a vendor, selling shit on the side of the street. So I was like, man, what's going on over here? So I went to look at his stuff, and he was selling a non idiocy potion. potion. Now, I, I, I don't know, like, when I went to do it, like, I was like, okay, these guys are going to come after me. And I just didn't even think about the fact that there was a fucking hole there, or a fucking block there previously. Mo, are you a, um, fucking hell. Mo, are you a football fan? Or are you just one of those people that watches, like, the big sporting events? Because I feel like I'd never hear you talking about football. And yes, I'm calling it football, even though I'm American. Because it's... I mean, currently what's going on, I feel like it should be called football because... I assume America's not in it anymore. I know I'm calling it right. I mean, I hate the fact that we have American football. Like, what? That, that, that's just ignorant. Like, 
that should not be called football. And on top of that, like, soccer should be called football, considering the fact that you're- the entire fucking sport is foot and ball, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand how that got turned- I don't know. I don't understand how America is so piss poor at football. We spend how much money on like literally all of our sports? That's like our main thing as America. We're like, man, we we we're sports. We got this. But yet, come you know, time to play some football, we're like, yeah, we have no idea what we're doing. No fucking idea. We just got confused because we're like, man, let's play some football, and everybody starts padding up, and we're like, no, 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 football, football, and they're like, yeah, we're playing football. No, no, Jesus, not that football. So I mean, we try. We have, t we have people try out for it, they just, they get the wrong football. Sports and army. Alright, there we go. Say, so, Mo, you watch more sports than me, dude. Like, I can't, I don't watch any, anything. Like, not, like, the Olympics. I know people, people that don't watch sports will go ape shit for the Olympics and whatnot. I'm like, eh. Eh. I just, I can't get into sports. They're just so boring to watch. No, what am I doing? Why am I waiting so long? I don't need to wait that long. Oh, okay, see, that makes sense. I was like, this just, it just seems weird, like, Mo being, like, a sports fan at all just seems weird. And then, like, the drinking things. Oh, there he goes. It clicked instantly. Instantly clicked. God, good not PPL, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> No, him, like, uh, Kanata and Bang are best friends, so if Kanata's gonna hang out with anybody, it'd be Bangera. Me! Me! There you go. Alright, come on. Come on, I want this sub 24 hours. That's all I want. I don't ask for much. Okay, yeah, I do. I take that back. But still, I just want sub-24. Grandy, why, bro? Why? And why didn't you have Advanced Wars ready in time? Get your shit together next year. Wouldn't that be nice? Level 50 is just literally free. They're like, ah, you've tried hard. Here you go. Um, guys? No! I keep fucking forgetting these blocks are here. Like, I remove them... And I just, nothing. My brain's like, hey, yeah, this is a nice free space. Let's go use this. Arthur Blues is now hosting me. Auto-hosting me without the no I didn't think Arthur Blue had me on auto-host. That's really surprising. Front of the shuttle in front of that. I'm just waiting for uh, John Carl's Arthur Blues and uh, Mo to fucking bring me onto their podcast. You guys all need to get your shit together. Your collective shits you need to get together. Bring me on your podcasts.
Ooh! Fucking moves like Jagger over here. Jagger? Jagger bomb. Ah! I know, right? Like, I, I it's just plain hurtful. Yeah, speaking of podcasts, Mola. I, 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 dude, I nailed it that time. I fucking nailed it. He has a new episode of the podcast coming out. If you guys don't know, um, Mo and EBC have their own podcast that they just recently started called uh, This Is Game Boy. It's uh, pretty dope. You should listen to it if you have not. And if you also don't know, Arthur Blues and John Carls, they also have a uh, podcast, The Frame Savers. Check that out. And how the fuck do I get these guys out of the way? I wasn't saying molar, I was saying mola. Pretty sure that's how you say his name. Mola. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce it. Like, I feel like an idiot every time I try. Come on. Yeah, not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Fuck, 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 fuck. I mean, that really sucks. Alright, so they're just gonna spawn up there, apparently. I don't get how I'm supposed to get past these guys. I just, I'm not seeing it. Like, this is the tough puzzle of the stage. These fucking dudes. I'm pretty sure I'm nailing his name. Like, I'm pretty sure I got it spot on. And it just... No, like, okay. He's, he's just got that extra little bit of Belgian at the end of it. That's what's getting me. Grandy, there's a giant possibility I'm overthinking this because that's literally all I do. Which is amazing because I'm an idiot and I overthink things. I'm pretty sure there's like some fucking law that prohibits that, but I just ignore that law. I say I always have some girl just sitting there, just like, 10 minutes after, well, probably more than 10 minutes, but I'll sit there and fuck with something for a long time, and I'm like, man, I'm just not fucking getting this. And I'm not, like, either I'll get it, or after a while of complaining, some girl will be like, dude, you're just, you're, you're overthinking this. Or like, I'll get it, and then it'll be, wow, you really overthought that. Like, I just, it's never good enough for some girl, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. I got stuck on literally every single fucking ladder imaginable. Dude, <laughs> yeah. shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm on a mission to beat the game in less than 30 minutes. Quit trying to steer me away from my mission. My ultimate goal in life. I, I'm just, I don't know, Grandy. I'm just not seeing how it's supposed to get past these guys. And it's pissing me off. Because these guys are my fucking way. Please don't pick a, po post a picture of an egg roll. Why the fuck? Who made you mod? And why? Dude, he just dropped his gold to this guy. He just fucking hands off his gold. Astros, why did I hate you so much?
I don't know, man. I'm not fucking seeing how I'm supposed to get past these guys. Charge! Not, not gonna fucking work. Come on! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Somebody write that shit down. NZ4459. NZ4459. Because I don't think I can get a level 50 with that password. Not the password I have been using. NZ4459. Thank you, PBL. Alright. Fucking pray to the lords. I think we're just... Alright, 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 alright. So, run over there. Uh, let's see, destroy it. Does not look like cakewalk to me either. I was hoping this would be like super easy. Alright, these guys are gonna get in my fucking way. have anything better to do? Because I need to fucking cycle these platforms. Alright. That, um... So that ladder up there, I need to go up there and I need to flop that. I need to flip, flippity flop at it. And then I need to go across because I need the bottom to be gone. I need the top to be there so I can walk across. I need to get to that ladder, destroy that, um, all that shit, and then walk across and then fall in. Dude, this, this fucking level. Why, why isn't this level free? I feel like at this point in time the game should be like, man, you've done suck you've done some work. Here you go. Have we not met PPL? I think everything about me is my inner girl. Alright, so if it's you can go down here and grab those two and fucking grab that. New episode posted! I'm actually pissed off, Mo. Uh, I try to get Try to get your um, podcast. Okay, I had to grab that gold in the bottom middle last, right? I try to get your podcast on my phone, and I can't. Like through Podcast Addict, you guys need to fucking get your shit together so I can listen to you at work. All right, so I, that, okay, I'm right. I, like that that gold I had to get last. So I need to grab, let's see, that, and fall off and grab that, and then and that, and just grab that, and then I can grab all that, okay. Yeah, I was hoping that I could find a spot to get him to move back up. That didn't work, obviously. Yeah, I'm dead. Getting the uh, sides is going to be just a pain in the ass. Alright, so the last... I can get. I have to get the stuff on the right last. Stuff on the left I can grab. Now. Yep, yeah, stuck. Not stuck. There we go. We're good. We're stuck. Is there any way I can fucking lock these guys somewhere? I need to store these guys somewhere so they're not in my fucking way. The top portion is just going to be fucking, like, impossible. The top right is just going to be impossible with these guys running around. Uh, 
It looks like they spawn in the top left, which is just fucking asinine. They most definitely spawn in the top left. Alright, so let's see. If, I think if I go down here, they might go down to the bottom left corner. I assume if I go up, they'll follow up, so they're not going to stay there. Yeah. Dude, how in the fuck am I supposed to do this? I have no time to do this. They spawn in the fucking top left corner. Okay, There's no fucking way, dude. There's just no way you can do this. Because I have to do a puzzle, so I have to sit there and move blocks around and shit like that while I'm constantly fucking having to kill these guys. No, that's that's the issue. Like, I don't see anywhere I can get them trapped except for maybe in the bottom of the fucking map, but I don't know how I'm going to weasel them down there. See, like, right here, if I drop down, like, they want to go down the ladder over there. So like, the only way I can think to do it is seriously just do this, but like right as I go down, it's gonna be hard to get get them to follow. And that guy's fucking over there. I need both of them with me. Ah, this fucking game. Come on. I need you to take a break. Wait for your buddy. He's gonna fucking fall in the hole too. Damn it. Go to the right, go to the right, no, to the right, to the right, to the right. Alright, good. There we go. Yeah, I can get him here. Problem is, I have to fall down there at the end. Like, that's what's really sucking. So I'm, st I'm gonna stuff them down here in the bottom of the fucking screen, and that's where I gotta go at the end. So that's exactly where you wanna put them. Where you gotta go at the end of the game. Or at the end of the, uh, level. here, so they're out of the way as much as possible. Alright. I know this puzzle, right? Like, I'm not fucking crazy, like, I've done this puzzle before. <clears throat> Wasn't this the puzzle I was practicing? Yeah, this is the puzzle I was practicing earlier. I just need to run across. Yeah, okay. Fuck. I forgot to shoot that shit. <clears throat> no biggie, we got time.
shoot the fucking block, dude. Alright, wow, that's gonna be fucking tight. That's gonna be fun. You definitely don't have to do the door last. And so, and just walk straight to the left, grab all that gold, get him to fall into a hole, and ah, oh, now I gotta shoot that to the right. So I gotta. Mm. I can just fall straight down. So I mean, I can do fall to the left, grab all that, shoot, fall down, grab that, and then I can fall down. So open that up, open that, open that, open that, and then go from the top, right? Fall down on top of that, back up the ladder, to there, no, that's not gonna work, I can fucking shoot that from up there, again, okay, that's not, and then grab all that, put him in the hole, and that, shoot that, there's that, I think I got everything. Probably fuck something up, though. Of course, of course. Of course. God damn it, dude. Why, game? Fuck off with the invisible blocks. No, shit, I'm stuck. Not stuck, never mind. Are you shitting me? Game. Oh, that's fair. That's just, that's 100% fair. Spawn him there. This level is just fucking pure spawn shit. It's just this level fucking me over with the shitty spawns. That's what this game, that's what this level is right now. Well, I'm not doing this sub 24 hours, unfortunately. Make some FOD. Dude, this fucking... Ah, this fucking game. Thanks for the vote of confidence, PPL. sucks, dude. I had everything figured out, but there's just a fucking drop point there, and then that guy just got into a shitty position. Stupid fucking fall-through blocks, man. Stupid fucking fall-through blocks. And if that guy, like, didn't die, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been an issue. Game. Pop. 
Hoth champ. I mean, yeah, it just would require everything to go really, really well right now. Is there any way I can get that fucking golem without falling? Is there any way I can do this top section so I don't have to... I mean, I can go to the right, but that doesn't... I'm pretty sure it's split on purpose, right? I can, I can grab the gold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's split on purpose. Like I have to go to the left, grab the seven, and then fall, and then... Why not? I don't know if they necessarily spawn on the door either, though. That's the issue. And that guy all the way on the left, I don't see how I'm supposed to get past him without actually killing him. Shit, I'm running out of time already. That sucks, I had to just like run straight for the, to the fucking door instead of grabbing my gold. Oh, this is gonna be fun, this guy's in the fucking way now. I can't do this with him in there. Yep, he's, they spawn like right fucking there, which you're screwed if that happens. So yeah, you have to get through this without killing anybody, it seems. Unless there's a way I can get him to come. There's no way, because he's not going to walk to the fucking... fucking kill anybody. Game, are you fucking shitting me? Like, come on! It's like the dumbest fucking idea ever. I have to get through this without fucking killing anybody. Because they spawn right there at the fucking door. What was it? KZ something? Dude, PPL, shut up. NZ. Fucking stupid game, dude. <sighs> like, I feel like this is just a fucking other level of RNG. I didn't care about the sub 24. 
I mean, it would have been, been nice, it would have been cool, but it just, it pisses me off that, like, I don't see how I'm supposed to, like, this door stage is just dumb. Like, it's super easy. But apparently if you kill anybody, they fucking spawn in a spot where you can't complete the level anymore. So it just seems like another RNG fest, because, like I said, that one guy on the left, I don't see how you can get past him without doing what I've done. But I just did that last time, and it was pure fucking luck. It was pure luck. That's all it was. If he dies, you're fucking screwed. The bottom gold... That guy's gonna die, of course. The bottom gold will, uh... Be like a ladder or whatever to get out, so... No, just go to the right, fall down, grab that one, then go to the left, fall down, grab that one. And then ladders will appear, because that'll be the last bit of gold. That's why I'm pulling them all the way over here, because I'm going to have to drop down and grab that gold, and then there will probably be a ladder that appears right there on that spot, so... And it sucks, too, because, like... Oh, you died? Well, let's spend 16 hours doing the setup again. I hate this fucking stage. Because the door seems to be RNG. I don't see how I can get through it without killing anybody. Without RNG just being on my side. And then the setup for this is just torture. Because I have to drag them one at a time... All the way to that fu this fucking spot. Like, this is just... Dude, why the fuck did you walk back in that hole? I think he's referring to the door, because that's what the guy I'm having issues with. And there are some spots up there, but it just... Ah, oh, this fucking... It... Okay, I, I've complained a lot about this game, but most of my complaints have been when um, the levels are really RNG heavy, I feel. Uh, there was one earlier I was stuck on for like an hour. I knew how to complete the stage the entire time. But it required, like, good spawns and shit. Like, that's just horrible. Like, it's a puzzle game. You shouldn't... I feel like it should be a puzzle, not RNG shit.
See, like, right there. Like, that's the only way I can fucking get around that guy. I need to put him in that block and then walk on top of his head and hope to god that he just pops out of it and doesn't die. Like, that sounds like a fucking ripping good time. And the door's shut now. And it's just, they're stuck. Like, I just, this fucking game is so stupid. Hey, you only have one way to get past this guy. I hope you don't kill him. Because we rigged it up where they fucking just camp the fucking door so you can't get out. Ha ha ha. Sounds fun, right? Dude, literally fucking go anywhere else. Like, this is so stupid. I don't see, like, any way possible other than just crossing your fucking fingers and hoping to God that when you're walking past that guy, you don't accidentally kill him. It's dumb that a fucking puzzle game has more RNG than a uh, turn-based RPG. Great Greed wasn't nearly as bad as this, RNG-wise. It's a fucking puzzle platformer, dude. <sighs> fucking hell. Apparently that little tiny movement I keep fucking doing, because I'm like, oh shit, I need to move back to the left, so he tries to go left. That little bit of movement every single time makes him want to walk back to the right, which makes no fucking sense at all. Like, I walk closer towards him, and that makes him want to go the opposite direction. But, like, right there, he's still heading to the left the entire time. What I'm curious about, like, if I was to build this level in the editor, how does the, uh, how do the spawns work? So I feel like this isn't even something you could actually practice by building it in the editor. With the, I don't know, the only thing I can see to do is that guy is like right there. So if I can hope him just rush down before he climbs up that fucking ladder and falls, then I can possibly like maneuver him out, but I still doubt I could fucking do that. Oh, 
Don't get your ass back down here, dumbass. Dude, I'm hitting A on the fucking block! Put a hole there! I hate this game. I really hate this game. So it looks like that's what I gotta do. I gotta fucking even rush over there and make sure he doesn't go up the damn thing and get stuck. So I can lure him over into that spot. So I can lure him like with the other guys. Like I probably should have fell. I just didn't want to. Because I knew if I fell, it would have been a uh, pain in the ass. Dude, why quit fucking falling back in there? Dude, I have done 50 fucking levels. Well, 49 levels figuring this shit out by myself. I'm not gonna give up now. I mean, I pretty much have everything figured out. I just need, like I said, to rush over there, get that guy doesn't go up into that fucking spot and get stuck, and then I just need to, uh... Pretty much just... Yeah. Looks like I'm just gonna have three in the bottom left corner. And I have to just deal with them being in the fucking bottom left corner. The way I always do it is kind of fucking insane, and I don't, I don't understand how. Every time I'm doing it, I'm like, yeah, this seems like the correct way, and then you guys are like, man, you guys are, man, you, you guys are always like, man, you're, you're trying way too hard. Like, I don't see any other way to do it. Jesus Christ, how, dude? And he falls back in. Just, please game, quit being fucking retarded. Why is it always the second guy? The first guy always has no fucking issue at all. The second guy is always a fucking moron. <laughs> I don't get it. I, mean, I do the exact same thing with both of them. And the second guy is always like, hold on, let me just hop right back into this hole. Jesus Christ, it's been ten and a half hours of this game. No wonder I'm so fucking agitated. Jesus, it's 6 fucking a.m. What the shit? Yeah, 
Yeah, PP, I just don't see any other way to do this. Like, the guy over there on the left is just stuck there. If I go really quickly, I can possibly get him unstuck, and it just... Like I said, I think that's poor level design anyway. The fact that I have to pretty much cross my fucking fingers. And hope to god that, uh... I fucking, I know I fucked that up. I should have just gave up. Yeah, I thought about doing that, but you know how difficult that is? Because I've tried it multiple times before, after I accidentally did it, and I, I don't think I've ever actually done it on purpose before. Every time I've tried, they just, they move really, really fucking weird. So hoping that they don't go... Crazy on the ladders is kind of hard. <laughs> and the thing too is, I'd have to do it twice. Because after I jump over them, I have to clear out the bottom. <sighs> I keep fucking forgetting that the second guy is just special and I have to just do something different for him. If I use the ladder to jump over him, when I go to when I clear out the right side, I'm gonna have to circle back to the left side to get out, and I'll have to jump over him again, because if I kill him, you know, he fucking spawns in the uh, bottom right corner. Or the top right corner. fuck I was thinking with that. <sighs> I don't know what I was doing with that. Because if he just walks across and get him to fall down, I can get him stuck here. I, I don't I don't fucking know. And like I said, this is what sucks. It's like, hey, uh, you fucked up the level? Yeah, I enjoyed like the 10 minute setup now that you have to do for this level. Thank you. 
I haven't got stuck on so many stages today. I started on stage, what, 40? Today? Dude, will you stop fucking doing that guy? The second guy is an idiot. Like, he, every time, he just jumps up, touches the... Uh, yeah. Like, he doesn't even try. He's like, ah, he knows he's a zombie cyborg and he just respawns. And says, ah, fuck it. Yeah, I started on stage 40 today. It has been almost half the fucking playtime of this game. Almost half the playtime of this game has been the last 10 stages. Or the last 11 stages. That's fucking asinine. I am absolutely making fun of cyborg zombies. They're, f <laughs> They're fucking dumb. hours and 10 stages. 50 hours and 50 stages? You have a point. You have a point, but still. But fucking still. Oh, fucking I hit A. Screw you, game. I hate this puzzle because you have to be decent, like, you have to do decent timing on it. If you're too slow, it doesn't work. If you're too fast, it doesn't work. And there's nothing... I have no visual cue of when I need to, uh, destroy that, you know, one block. So I'm just fucking hoping for the best. That guy was nice enough to drop his gold. I didn't even think he had gold because I could have sworn I put him in a hole, but... I don't know, I've done a hundred fucking attempts already at this stage, so... They're so weird, though. Uh, if you're on a ladder, they always just want to go to the left for some dumbass reason. Please, guy. Please, just... Jesus fucking Christ, what is this AI, man? Every time, it's this one fucking dude. The other guy is fine. The other guy just works perfectly every single time. This guy does this shit every single time. I have to kill him off once. I have to kill him. Because if not, he'll fucking jump up, touch the ladder, and jump right back into the fucking hole. See? I kill him once, and he's got the same AI as this guy. I don't fucking understand it. Did they make one that was just really, really fucking stupid, and then they have another one that's just not? Is that is that the issue here? I'm not that dumb. I'll admit I'm dumb, but I'm not that cyborg zombie dumb. Man, you really took all that shit that I was complaining about how people talk and say my name. You really took all that shit to heart, didn't you? Fucking Aatrox, Astros, Atrocious. There's a block sandwich. Uh, thank you. I think I'm pretty cute too. I'm, I'm assuming you're referring to me when you said it's so cute. Thank you, I appreciate that. I've been having a bad day, so I really appreciate that comment.
don't want to be fucking die. Get out of that hole. Get out of that fucking hole. Get out of that fucking hole. Get out of that fucking hole. I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. This seriously, this stage is just pissing me off. I'm gonna fucking just blow my brains out. That's how this fucking stage is feeling right now. This is just by far the dumbest fucking stage ever. I'm glad they decided to wait until the very end of the game to give you the dumbest fucking stage ever. Uh, I just want this game over with. I'm just so fucking done with it, man. I gotta fly on my nose. Get off my nose, dude. What's the matter with you? I gotta kill this guy off because he's got idiot AI. I'm not. I'm not fucking watching it. I will figure this shit out by myself. Like I said, 49 stages. I figured this out by myself. Maybe with some minor hints here and there. Mainly saying, ah, yeah, you got the right idea. But I got this. I'm almost there. I have fucking everything figured out on this stupid fucking stage. It just it all needs to melt together. And I know, in the video you said you just jump over the fucking dude. So I was trying, I just went too fast. If you're referring to me, yes, I'm in massive amounts of pain at this point in time. I'm so close. I'm so close. Just one stage. Just this fucking stage and I'm done. I need to buy the cartridge of this game just so I can break the cartridge of this game. I'm just so sick and tired of doing the setup for this fucking stage, man. That's what's pissing me off the most. I'm just, I'm tired of doing the stupid fucking setup for this stage, and then I die. And it's like, hey, guess what? You gotta do the setup for the stage again. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Only $122 stress reliever? It sounds fucking perfect, man. Like, this is just dumb. Look at this. I gotta do this every single time I die. Like, oh, you die. Well, time to reset up the stage. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you. Like, I wish I could just do the puzzle first. And then push push them in here. Why the fuck? PPI, I don't even want to know, bro. I don't even want to know. You know, I still think it's funny. Like, um, that's that's just an inter interesting item. Let's just go with interesting item. I forgot. This is currently idiot AI. I need to kill him so I can get smart AI to spawn. Hey, smart AI, let's go. I don't get it. Every time that second guy will kill himself. Just a personal massager? Yeah. Now, okay, my question with the, with the, the Hitachi magic wand. Was it actually designed as a personal massager, and then it just happened to become, like, you know, the world's best vibrator? Or was it actually meant to be a vibrator, but they were like, oh, let's sell it as a fucking personal massager first. <laughs> like, let's pretend it's a personal massager. Because I feel like that's what happened. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what, we know what we're selling here. Fucking god damn. Hey, look at that. You just died. Guess what? You gotta do this fucking setup again. Somebody kill me. And Hot Hot was like, oh shit! Hitachi sounds like a Japanese company, though. And have you seen those fucking some of the freaky shit that Japan comes out with? 
I can't, like... It's just weird to think of a Japanese company being like, No, 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 we don't want this to be known as a sex toy. We don't want you to tarnish our brand. Like, it's like, really? Not if it had, like, tentacles grown out of it or something. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're okay with that. We can't sell these basic-ass sex toys. What the fuck is this? Hitachi definitely sounds like a fucking Japanese brand. Am I, like, crazy for thinking that? I have no idea if it actually is or not, though. You guys get off each other's heads, please. Thank you. Vibratex? Wow. That's amazing. I would have honestly, like, guessed it was them fucking selling, like, a toy, like, a sex toy, and they didn't want, and they just pretty much labeled it as a vibrator, or, uh, personal massager. Like, when you were making this, nobody, nobody, like, pointed out other potential uses for this, like, I don't know, I feel like that's suspect. Not a single person in that company was able to see other potential uses for this product. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But he fucking dies anyway, dude! Dude, um, I just I just want to be done with this game. Like, and I'm just stuck in a fucking RNG fest right now. Eh, this is fun. Shirtless, literally never. I have the I have the physique of a rotten carcass. So. I mean, unless you're into rotten carcasses. <laughs> oh man, this fucking game. I'm gonna be stuck here all night because I just want to finish this game. You know, I'm, I'm at the end, and it's like, dude, it's just like, I just, I'm so close. I want this over with. Here, dude, I hate you so much, Pia. Just leave my fucking poor name alone. Hair in my mouth. Speaking of hair, I slammed my face on my bed like I turned around and uh, just pretty much nosedived into my bed out of anger. That's what's behind me, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> that's what's behind the green screen. So that's what I did. I fucking like face planted on my bed. So apparently I got hair in my mouth when I did that. <laughs> I'm just. I'm at a loss, man. I'll just do a shirtless stream without webcam. I'm pretty sure that counts, right? I don't know the I don't know the rules, but I'm pretty sure that counts as a shirtless stream.
Stream the webcam separate on Hitbox. <laughs> I was so focused on him not dying. I was so fucking focused on him not dying. I had I was not paying attention at all to what I was doing. I was just 100% staring at him. Like, trying to get his movement to not be completely idiotic. I wasn't... <laughs> Oh, I am so at my breaking point right now. I'm not even joking. I'm just, I'm done. I've never been more tempted to, like, pull the fucking power supply out of my computer, out of the wall. So my computer just loses power. Wow, oh, sorry guys, I fucking, I lost internet. But, but, I beat the stage after I lost internet. Woohoo! <laughs> Just celebrate, like, yeah, guys, it sucked that you weren't there to watch it, but, whoo, that last stage was a doozy. I'm not checking the fucking, I'm not, dude. I have done 24 and a half hours of this game without fucking checking a solution. I'm not doing it now. To earn. God damn it. <laughs> this guy falling back in the hole. Ah. You know, uh, have you guys ever seen the the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk movie with, um, what's-his-face, the guy from Fight Club? Like, right at the end of the movie where he's, uh, doing, you know, all that breathing. And it shows, like, how many days without an accident, or an incident, or whatever. And then it flips over and he opens up his eyes in the green. That's pretty much exactly how I'm feeling right now. Except for the breathing to stay calm bit. that That's not even close to me. <laughs> I feel like the eyes turning green, me about to destroy shit. I want to be in the whole breathing and controlling my anger, but I just, it's not there. I'm trying. For, for clarity's sake, I said I'm trying, not I'm crying. The I'm crying bit that comes in like two seconds when I'm done with this game and I realize I'm done with this game. I'll keep the stream on for that, so you guys can watch me literally fucking break down into tears. Yes, I'm done! Finally! I'm free! My fucking sun opens up. Starts shining on me. <laughs> Why do you hate me, PPL? I just, I don't get it. What did I do to you? What am I doing? What am I doing? I wanted to grab the gold. I didn't grab the gold. I freaked out. Ah, I am two toads. The good thing is I'm on the very last stage, but I've been on the last stage for an hour now. So. Because it's RNG. I'm not even joking. It's fucking RNG. If you kill anybody, not on this screen, but the next screen, if you kill anybody, you can't complete the stage. And the AI is just dumb as shit. They're set up in a way where you pretty much are going to kill them without meaning to. And if you kill them, you can't complete the stage. No, Toads is real, man. He'll, he'd suffer through. Toads gets where I'm coming from. Toads is German. He understands suffering. He's okay with it. His people have been doing it for years. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot that was the dumb AI, and I just fucking walked him down there.
this guy doing? He's got fucking some business to attend to. What did I just do? Fucking... I think I'm just gonna have to run up there and just grab, like, I don't know. I'm so, like I said, I'm so concerned. I'm so fucking concerned with him dying, because if he dies, I'm fucking screwed. So that's all I'm focusing on the entire time, and I'm just wasting so much time where I could be grabbing gold and doing other shit. And the issue is I still don't understand how I get past him afterwards. Like, I jump over top of him, that's great, but fucking whoopity do, he's... Still there when I do a fucking another trip through. Oh, this is stupid AI, I forgot. Yep. I, I don't I don't get that logic there. Like what is what is that? Like every single time with this guy. He just goes up back right down into the hole. Like the setup takes long enough already. And then I gotta deal with this stupid ass fucking AI killing itself every time. I don't know, man. I was like it sucks too because I was like destroying Gran Granin's time and like when I started the day. And I'm just now fucking falling apart. I'm literally in pieces. I can actually see, like, pieces of me around, sitting around my room. It's disgusting. And it's made even worse right now by the fact that I'm on the last stage, and it's like, I know I'm so close, you know? And it's like, nah, I just need to finish it. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can complete this in one trip, because if I manage to actually ever get through a full site, like full circle of this, and get back to the start, and then start on the other side, and then I accidentally kill a guy, I, I'm gonna lose my shit. I just know I will. Like I'm, I'm so done with this sh fucking stupid stage at this point. So I'm just wondering if I gotta get through two circles of this without killing anybody. Or if there's a way I can get through. Because I can, if I drop down, shoot that block that guy's at, I can get him to follow me around. And then I might be able to, like... I don't think I can, right? Well, no, I mean, I think if I go off to the right side first, like, if I grab those two, 
shoot that, shoot down, drop, that, grab that gold, and go to the right. Put him in a hole. It doesn't matter if I kill him or not, because he's going to be fucking right here anyway. Shit, I meant to... Not what I meant to do, I meant to, like, destroy that block, then do this nonsense. That didn't go well. fucking cycle. Now I just need to get through another cycle without killing anybody and without me losing my fucking mind. I'm gonna grab these and just <sighs> reset the timer. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Because I'm fucking terrified of this shit squashing me. I'm gonna reset it. What the fuckity fuckity fuck is this guy doing? Alright, and this is, uh... Shoot all of this. Shoot that. Shoot all of this. I should have just waited. I should have waited on the fucking ladder. I thought there was like another set of blocks I was gonna... I thought there was another set of blocks in that time. I've had a fucking pee for the last half of the stream, and it's been like 11 hours. I'm literally dying over here. I'm just at the point now where like I kept on like putting it off, like no, I'm so close to being done. I'm so close to being done. There's a good chance if I walk away at this point, I just don't come back. I gotta commit. Consistency is the key, you know, and uh, 
Consistently failing is a, is a good thing. No, don't fucking fall! Like, you have to go at a certain speed to avoid, um... To avoid just him chasing you down and killing you. But, if you just make the wrong steps, he'll just kill himself. So... the longest stream you guys have ever done? I'm just in there trying to think about what my longest is. stream for 28 hours. time setting up and just gone just like that yeah I mean I've tried playing Path of Exile so many times I can't I can't imagine playing 28 hours of it like in one sitting or something actually hell I don't even think I've played 28 well no I probably played over 28 hours collectively not a bad game I just have trouble getting into it. I think my big issue with it is uh the fact that it's online only, and it always seems like kind of laggy. There's always like some little bit of like connection issues and shit, and that just drives me nuts. Yeah, I mean, I, I did too. I actually I grew up on Diablo one, so I remember the I actually still remember the day I fucking beat. Uh, it's been a while since I last played. <clears throat> I remember. When I beat Diablo in Diablo 1, that was a fucking awesome day. I remember because I opened up the door to my the front of my house, this, you know, when I was a kid, and I yelled out at my I yelled out at my at my brothers because they were outside playing like you know, fucking normal human beings, <laughs> and uh, I yelled that you know I killed Diablo. It was awesome. And then, of course, they instantly like, No, you fucking did. I'm like, Yeah, I did. I fucking did it. That's cool as shit. I sat there way too long. 
Oh no, Diablo 1, uh, not nearly as good as Diablo 2. I still play Diablo 2 to this day. Um... Diablo 1 on PS1 was actually surprisingly good. I remember playing that a decent bit too. And my buddy, he had Diablo 3 on, uh... 360? Xbox One? I can't remember which one had it. And, uh... I think 360 and Xbox One both had it, and they both played surprisingly well. No, I never really got into the modded Diablo 2. I've seen a bunch of them. They, they always look pretty cool, but I just... I always have so much shit to do on Diablo 2 anyway. Because I play single player. Um, I always played Battle.net for years and years and years, and then... I got into single player not so long ago, and well, I guess it I guess it has been a while ago. But there's always so much to do in single player. There's always so many different characters to make. Plus, um, one of the forums I visit for Diablo 2, they always have different like type of tournaments, which is you know just character restrictions and shit like that, like build restrictions, item restrictions, and always a blast. Yeah, I don't know how I actually got into Diablo 3 uh, last season, and I've been playing it this season too. Which really surprised me, because I was super excited when Diablo 3 came out, and I was like, man, this is a giant pile of shit. So it actually surprised me that I kind of went back to Diablo 3. Ooh, hardcore? I've never been a huge fan of hardcore in like any game. I just don't like the idea of dying and losing progress. Oh, that's cool. I think that might be how it is in Diablo 3 as well. I'm not 100% certain on that. I, I don't ever play hardcore, so... Yeah, I mean, that's one of the worst things about... I guess not worst things, but one of the bad things about... non-hardcore. Oh, do you? Okay. I didn't know, um... I've actually never played hardcore on Diablo 3, so... Oh, shit, this is an idiot. Um, dude, still. Yeah, I didn't like Diablo 3 when it first came out. I just recently got back into it, and it just... It's weird that I'm playing it, because it's just... I still maintain it's a piece of shit. Even though I'm playing it now, because... I don't know, it's just a mess. Like, I'm used to Diablo 2 and Diablo 1. And those are the Diablos I enjoy and really love. In Diablo 3, it's just... I don't know, it's, 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 it's weird. It's just different. It's really different. Like, I, pre I played a Crusader last season. My brother is playing a Crusader this season, I was talking about it. And I was like, yeah, it was weird when I was playing my Crusader, because I uh, just recently got a new mechanical keyboard. I never had one before. I had an old, really cheap uh, keyboard. And uh, I was like, yeah, I actually would plug in my old keyboard whenever I played Diablo 3, because the Crusader build, you just mash the living fucking shit out of Condemn. Like, you never stop hitting Condemn, ever. And, uh, I was like, I just didn't want to wreck my new fucking mechanical keyboard. Even though it's a cheap mechanical keyboard, I just didn't want to wreck it, so... That's what I was telling, I was like, yeah, man, so just be prepared to be mashing the fuck out of Condemn. More likely an MMO? Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely weird.
I, see, I don't like how I did that, because now... I mean, he's in an okay spot, I guess, but... I, I know I can do that and get away with the shit, but... What am I doing? No! God damn it! I was trying to rush it and I just walked right into that fucking... I know, it's just weird that it's like really mash heavy a lot of the time. I'm playing a Barbarian. And uh, it's, it's quite a bit different than the Crusader, but not good different. Uh, the build's so much weaker than the Crusader build. It's the Furious Charge build, and it kind of sucks because like I have three charges of Furious Charge, and when, if that's gone, I'm just stuck standing there like an idiot. I mean, I've, I've gotten into uh, PoE, and like, I've played a decent bit of it before. Damn it, that's the idiot AI. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, it's not a bad game, I enjoy it, but... I just, I could never, it just never hooked me. I do like the, um, the gems, though. I thought that was a really cool idea. Instead of actually having like skills and all that, you just got gems that you can level up and those are your skills. How does that game make money, now that I think about it? It has microtransactions, doesn't it? I love how like that's the big way to make money on games now. <laughs> You're 700 in the hole. What do you even buy on there? I don't think I've ever actually looked at the microtransactions for PoE. Thank you, Toads. Thank you. How do you think I feel, Toads, huh? How the fuck do you think I feel? See, I'm just so stingy with my money. I, uh... If you can see it, there's probably empty- that makes sense. I'm just so stingy with my money, man. I just- I never buy that shit. No! Fucking hell! Josh, you can't do that! I've now been on this stage for like an hour and a half. It's just... it's dumb. I've done six great great runs on that. <laughs> but you don't even know the route, what are you talking about? Speaking of, have you seen PPL's run? I'm really surprised he got that time as low as he did. And that's it's really, really cool that he got the time as low. Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ooh, I got both of them at the same time. That's so fucking... so much faster. If I can get that every time, that'd be great. I mean, the world record's free. PPL found out that, uh, he was telling me that he was an idiot. And he forgot to use, uh... Um... Escape. On one of the sp spots that he was doing. He just fucking, like sort of walking out, and then remembered like halfway through, he's like, oh shit, I can escape, and he just escaped, so. Now I'm really, really impressed that he was able to get that, 
run as well as he did, as quickly as he did. Because when we first started talking about uh, running that game, I was thinking... Sub... <sighs> Fucking hate this game. I was thinking sub, like, six would be a really good time to start with, and then sub five would be pretty okay. And it just went straight to that. Like, he went straight to that right away. It's a fucking really good time. Yeah, it's... It's weird that they did that, because the sets were so fucking useless in Diablo 2. Like, there was very few sets that were actually worth it. I mean... I guess it depends on what version of Diablo 2 you were playing. After they added rune words and everything, uh, Diablo... Yeah. Uh, after you added... They added rune words, sets became really useless. I mean, there's still a few that were decent, but if you could afford rune words, those are just generally better. So it is weird that they adopted... And they didn't even start that way, because when Diablo 3 first came out, it was pretty much... They went with, like, the weirdest system when Diablo 3 first came out with legendaries being very, very, very rare, and them being extremely weak. So most people ran around in rares, and you just, you know, hope that you got a good rare roll. Um, so that was the weirdest thing when I came back, because I, like I said, I started playing Diablo 3 when it first came out. I stopped playing and didn't touch the game again until, like, season 13. So, that's how wide of a gap there was. I started playing when it first came out. A few months I played it. I don't even think a few months. I was like, dude, this is fucking ass. Stopped playing it. And then... Came back... Like around season 13. And it was just so different. So glad they got rid of the fucking auction house. God damn it! That's two fucking deaths now to uh just fucking up the timing of that. It was it was insane the amount of money people were um thrown away towards the auction house. Like I ended up making I think 90 on the auction house, but see, I got screwed, and this is part of the reason why I hated Diablo 3, because demon hunters and wizards were hella strong during launch, and barbarians were hella weak at launch. So, um, yeah, that's how I was too, man. I, I really disliked the game, but I saw how much people were making on the auction house, it's like, okay, let's just keep fucking grinding at it, and... I made I made pretty much enough money to justify buying the game. That's how I saw it. But yeah, I was pissed off because the demon hunters and the wizards were just stupid strong, and I was playing a barbarian because that's what I always played in Diablo 2 and Diablo 1. This was like the first what I you know first thing I rolled. Diablo 1 warrior, Diablo 2 barbarian. So barbarians in the game, it's like yeah, I'm playing a barbarian. Yeah, they were just trash. Like you, to be able to beat the game, like without being in a, a group, you pretty much had to be a demon hunter or a wizard. Yeah, I bought I bought the collector's edition. Do I actually still have the box? I actually, like, had, I've had the box sitting in my room forever just because it's just sitting there. And uh, I never even looked through it. I got the game. I took out the, um, the flash drive, which is literally sitting almost an arm's length away from me right now. And then I, that was it. I remember looking through it for a little bit when the game was installing. But, oh, and that was fucking torture. When the game came out, the fucking servers. Because me and my older brother were both fucking trying to play it. And the fucking servers were just hysterical. Devil worship me for bringing the skull you just Oh my goodness. Some people are really good at minding their business, you know? 
<coughs> minding their own business. But yeah, I was, I was really, really disappointed in Diablo 3, and it, like, it killed me because, like, I'm sure you guys have probably heard of Kriparian. Oh, that was close. What am I doing? Why would you walk into him? God. Um, but I, I'd never heard of Crip until that moment. I remember watching him, and I was so pissed off when I was watching Crip, man. That was like the dumbest way. Like, d did you hear? Do you know how they beat um, the game in difficult, like the game on uh, hardest difficulty? They were the first ones. Uh, the No Life Guild or whatever, because I know he's you know No Life Kriparian or whatever. Do you know how they they beat the game? Because they beat it on the hardest difficulty. They were the first ones in the world, too. I'm pretty sure it was world, not, like, America. Because I remember watching him as he was doing it. I was like, dude, that's so fucking lame. They, uh... Yeah. If you... If you, like... Because the shit was unkillable. The shit was just unkillable. I don't know how... Uh, Blizzard managed to make such a fucking poorly balanced game... But when the stuff first came out, like when the game first came out, like Inferno was pretty much just impossible. You had to have like some of the most ridiculous gear rolls possible. So like it'd be just hours and hours of and hours of farming for like a perfect rare pretty much or buying shit off the auction house. So what they did was they literally just ran through shit and died. That was their game plan and it worked. They ran through the entire game dying to every fucking uh, special pack that came across. They just died to it and just kept on slowly pushing their way through while dying and respawning. By doing that, they finally made it through the game. They destroyed the bosses because the bosses were a joke in comparison to the uh, random enemies in the random special packs. So that's how fucking they beat the game. It was literally just running through and dying. I was like, that's so dumb. See, I had never heard of him until that point in time. It was, it was interesting watching that. Diablo 3, my goodness, what a piece of shit game. What? You know, with what they did with Diablo 3, it'd be like, ah, whatever. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, they made a, they made a mess of Diablo 3. And then, like, how they changed it to kind of fix it. It just, I don't know. God damn it! I, I just don't get this guy. Sometimes he's following me, sometimes he's not. And I'm just like, okay, let's go grab these gold piles. And he's like, nope, fuck you, I'm following you now. Is Diablo 4 is going to be first person? They hired some 3D developer from Washington. What the fucking love? What? Well, okay, that'll be good, though. Because, you know, Diablo 3 won't be my most hated Diablo then. So that's, that's nice. Like, it'd be different if they were making a brand new game. I could live with it. But, you know, Diablo is... A game that's been around forever. People love it. People expect it to be... Kind of in the same style. Not a fucking totally different game. So it sounds like they're going something like kind of Borderlands-ish. If they're going first person like dungeon crawler type thing. Where you just slowly improve your gear. I hope, I hope that's not true. That just sounds horrible. Like I said, I mean, I'd be okay with it if it was a, just a different game. But it being under uh, Diablo title just seems horrible.
Yeah, very true. Gears of War Funko Pop? Wait, what? That wasn't even fucking close, dude. Right, I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. I've been holding this for way too long. Probably super healthy for the body. Oh, dude, I've never fucking pissed that long in my life. I'm, that was just, I'm terrified. Apparently it's bad to hold your bladder that long. I think I just died. Gears Pop E3 2018 announcement trailer. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. It's not a present, man. Nobody wants that. Nobody. It's always... It's always weird when companies do shit like that. But I mean, I guess... If it makes money, it makes money. So... Who am I? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> PPL, I hate you. I really do. Shit, I need to kill this guy. Done with food. You lucky bastard. I wish I had food. Yes, yes it has. I just looked. Um, 
it's been 11 and a half hours. Which is sad, because seriously, I had 10, 10, 10, no, 11. I had 11, 11 stages, and it's been 11 and a half hours. So I'm, like, going at a horrible pace today. I, I do not watch E3. Never have, probably never will. Just, I honest, I don't even keep up to date with, uh, games either on news sites or anything. It's weird, I just really lost interest in following shit like that. I'll just be, I'll occasionally just be uh, on Steam or whatever and be like, Oh shit, this came out! Like, you know, hey, I didn't even know they were making it. You know, stuff like that. It's always a nice little surprise. Oh shit, they made this, so... What about you? I mean... Said it's a, it was uh, surprisingly quite a good e E3. I imagine you're excited about something. I'm on level 50. I've been stuck on level 50 for fucking ever now. I've been stuck on level 50 for like an hour and a half at this point in time. Shit, I was about to fall down on that, that would have been good. What am I doing? You're on a timer, dumbass, come on. What am I doing? I'm fucking everything up right there. I just was fucking literally everything up. Like, that's not even difficult. That's what... <sighs> I literally messed up, I think, everything possible you can there, and that was that's not difficult. It literally just... <sighs> I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm on level 50 out of level 50. I'm on level 50 out of 50. I've been here for... I think I got here like 23 and a half hours or something like that. Samurai Dark Souls by FromSoft, really? See, I would be excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 if it wasn't for the fact that it's going to be a Sony exclusive. I'm not... I want to be excited for Fallout 76, but Fallout 4 was complete out of garbage. So I'm not not getting my hopes up. New Doom game, I bought Doom as it like I bought Doom when it came out. Like I had it pre-ordered. And I just never touched it. I just I couldn't get into it. I was like, eh. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm super excited. I didn't know they were making another uh, from software is making the Another game. That's awesome. I love the fucking... My buddies talked about Dark Souls for the longest time. And I just... I never got around to playing it. Never got... Never even attempted to play Actually, no, I remember I tried to play it on the 360 once and I hated it. I was like, dude, this is just horrible. I didn't like it. The PC... I played the PC version. I felt like it just played so much better on the PC. And I just fell in love with it. So I 100%ed... Um... Dark Souls 1 and 2, and I been I need to go back to Dark Souls 3, I've been meaning to, I just haven't, but I will eventually get all the achievements on that as well. So is this a uh, new game from software, is it going to be on the PC?
No, I like I like Dark Souls 2 more than I like Dark Souls 1. I'm one of those I'm one of like the oddities. I actually enjoyed Dark Souls 2 more than one. Oh, good. Cause I know uh I don't have a PlayStation, so I, I've never been able to play What's their other fucking game? That's like Dark Souls. Bloodborne. So I never got to play Bar Bloodborne. Which always makes me sad. Let's not forget Demon Souls. I I watched a little bit of a speedrun of that. It didn't look horrible. Very different. This game, Dark Souls of Digging Games. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Alright, so the answer I thought I had for this, like 17 hours ago and I got to the stage, doesn't work. I thought I could zap this block from the uh, platform I'm on, so. Fifth grade, my butt invited me. I get why he kept on dying. Say shoot to there and drop there. Would be Yeah, that's how most people feel. Most people I'm surprised that you liked uh Demon Souls and Dark Souls the same. But most people like Dark Souls uh too the least. I couldn't really get into Dark Souls 3 too much, but I don't think that was the game's fault. I think it was the fact that I had just gotten into Dark Souls, so I had just 100% of Dark Souls 1, just 100% of Dark Souls 2, plus played the shit out of the PvP on Dark Souls 2. And then Dark Souls 3 came out, and I was like, ugh, I'm just done. It played better. That's Dark Souls 1, I needed a, a mod for it. And it just, it was, it was a mess, and it just didn't run correctly on PC. And, uh, I don't know, I, they were both great games, but there was just something about Dark Souls 2. I think it was the fact that I played a ton of the PvP on Dark Souls 2. I played a ton of the PvP on Dark Souls 2. So I think that kind of helped me really enjoy it. What in the fuck? How am I not seeing the answer to this? I mean, Dark Souls 1 ran well, but, like, you needed to download mods and shit to even get it to, like, play ha like play well on the PC. I tried PvP in on Dark Souls 1, but the PvP was just shit. It was just complete garbage. Because it was so laggy and everything, it was just... I mean, you'd swing... Somebody would swing, you'd be half a mile away, and next thing you know, you'd just get hit. You're like, okay, yeah, okay, well, okay, sure. I'm not on pause on this until I see the answer. I'm fucking just not. I've wasted too much time on this stage already. The bad thing is I got those two guys there. I guarantee I will kill one of them. I guarantee it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not it. I mean, the live in the fuck? Oh crap, I think I know how to solve this. I don't want to solve it. I destroy that. Then... Delay destroying one of these platforms. Drop down. Destroy, destroy that, destroy that. Yeah, if I destroy de destroying to the, if I delay destroying the platform to the right, I can drop down and fucking fuck this, dude. Well, that's the answer, but... It's the furthest I've gotten! Yay! Pretty sure I'd kill one of those guys in the um the left side. Granted I've been here for uh about two hours now, man. I'm I'm not even close to celebrating. I mean I've been stuck here for two hours. Okay, so I was on stage forty when I started the stream today. I was on stage forty when I started the stream today. I've been streaming for twelve hours. I've been fucking roadblocked constantly throughout this game today. stage sucks, dude. And the bad thing is, it's not a difficult stage. That's what pisses me off the most about it. It's just this fucking the door. I used to see me fucking raging at um, a few stages earlier. There's a door that was like pure RNG. I was fucking losing my shit, man. Because I was stuck there for like an hour, an hour and a half.
Jump up, please. Yeah, and he's... I can't... I'm pretty sure if I take that guy with me, he's gonna fucking die. There's him and that one dude over there. I don't think I can get fucking both of them alive. And that's set up just like that. I'm doing the YouTube... Seriously, I'm doing the fucking YouTube strats now? I just... I mean, if you're looking at the fucking shit on the left... I was like, dude, there's no way in hell, because when I had the first cycle, the guys on the left, there's two of them, and I've already, I've already had that before, and I killed one. It's almost impossible to get two people to fucking live when you're placing holes to try to get them to stop chasing you, to go around them. So. Uh, I figured, let's go with the, uh... Let's go with trying to keep on in there and fucking room. Yeah, granted, that was the fucking stage, dude. It was like 47 or something like that. I was stuck on it for like an hour and a half because how bad it was. I was losing my fucking shit, dude. 47, 48, something like that. Because it was an easy stage. It was super easy. I figured everything out, like, immediately. I'm like, oh, this is easy. There's no puzzles here. And then I get into the door. I'm like, okay, this is easy. No puzzles here. I just gotta get them to drop. I gotta get them to drop correctly. Yeah. Just fucking stuck there forever. Those are the stages I've bitched about the most. The stages where I feel like it's RNG more than it's a puzzle. I got stuck in the fucking block. Yeah, and it's done. Like, I. I was raging up a fucking storm. It's just dumb to add RNG elements into a puzzle game. And I said, like, because I, I, there are some stages where I found out, like, if you stand in certain spots, they seem to have a higher percentage of spawning where you want them to. But. On that one, like, I just felt like you never had time to sit there and just kill somebody and check to see where they spawned. So, it just, yeah, that stage pissed me off. And then I also got stuck on, like, 46, I think. I got stuck on, like, 46 as well. I had, like, the double puzzle inside of, uh, the door. It, it took me forever. I was on that stage for, I think, three hours today. I've been on this one for two hours. Yeah, it's pretty much today has just been me stuck on like three different stages. That's about it. See, I don't mind the I don't mind the rooms too much. I just dislike how they do some of the rooms. Hey, what's up, Yarf villain? Yar villain? I'm assuming that's how you name Dude, I, I'm horrible at fucking names. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just god-awful at figuring out what people's names are. Ah, shit. And I hate this puzzle because it's, like, timing. It's a time, like, and I have no... I have nothing to go off of. So it's just pure... Eh, this feels like decent timing. And I've died. And doing the setup for this stage... Like, moving the uh, enemies into location so they don't fucking die. Or so they're not in your way. I have, dude. I have not even attempted your name once. I'm so glad you noticed that. They start at 16? I thought I could have sworn it was a uh, halfway point, 25, when you had to start doing the password. I'm just assuming that based on the fact that's when the passwords start. Like, I'm not sitting there saying, oh, on my recollection, it's this. I'm just going based off the password system. Like, the art is fine. This game, this game is hard, dude. I think the biggest issue is the, uh, that does, they just add some really crappy kind of RNG elements. Like, okay, see this door right above me, Yarv? That door? When I grab the key and go in that door, I don't know how long you've been here, but it, uh... I thought the passwords were at 25. 
Wow, okay. But, anywho, that door, when I go in that door, if I kill a single enemy, whether it be on purpose or accident, if I kill a single enemy, they are blocking the exit. So I have to manage to complete all the puzzles and, like, just circumvent the enemies, which is why I've been stuck on the stage for, like, two hours now. I don't owe you shit, PPL. <laughs> I could have sworn the passwords are at fucking 25, man. It's not my fault you changed the game. On my game, see, my ROM, the passwords are 25. See, that's the issue. You just got a messed up cartridge, PPL. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... I think 20 minutes I could have beaten this stage and I would have been sub 24 hours. And just... nothing. How do I fucking move him over? He's just gonna jump up and down like a fucking dildo. And look at that, hey, he's stuck, yay, all that work I did, for nothing, woo, yay, this is so much fun. Oh, I accidentally killed a guy, this stage is done now, yay, time to reset and spend 15 hours setting these guys up, yay. In case you guys can't tell, I'm having the time of my life over here. Like, I, I wouldn't mind this stage so much if it wasn't for the fact that I have to do this every single fucking time. <laughs> Midlife crisis has begun. I'm not that old. Well, I mean, I guess if I... I only lived at 56, I'd be having- I could be having a midlife crisis right now. Uh, Uncle Josh Howard, were you again? Dude, you're so weird. <laughs> I'm 28, dude. This is, you know what? I would not be surprised if that's actually what happened. It's like, you know, I die, I get to heaven, more than likely hell, and uh... He's like, yeah, dude, you were actually supposed to live until, like, 70. But... You played Hyper Load Runner. What the fuck were you doing? You thought I was 30. Ouch. <laughs> he just hands me a fucking Game Boy, like, you can get to heaven. If... And he hands me a fucking Hyper Load Runner. <laughs> That's why I just accept my fate. Like, yeah, well, I guess I'm just stuck in fucking hell for the rest of my life. Like, I look at him like, dude, I've beaten this before. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know. And I'm like, I I'm, I'm good with just staying in hell. I'm completely fine with that. What the fuck am I doing? I was trying to hit it, like, as late as possible. I, I don't understand how I'm supposed to get him stuck. Because that's the only other spot I can expect to get him stuck. <sighs> I fucking hate this level. Man, you're mentioning cookies, dude. That sounds fucking delicious. I'm hungry as shit. I had the tiniest breakfast. And then I started streaming, and it's been, oh my god, it's been 12 hours. Th okay, here's what pisses me off. This was supposed to be a short stream. This was, well, I guess not, ne okay. Not necessarily it was supposed to be a short stream. This was supposed to be Let's Beat Hyper Load Runner stream, and if I didn't take too long, you want Hyper Load Runner? I'd do like another game or two. That's what this stream was supposed to be. That, that's what it was supposed to be. It was like, okay, let's do Hyper Load Runner, and if I got some energy still in me, we'll do another game. No, fucking 
12 hours later. Hey, Hyper Load Runner! Still. Strategy for staying up late as you do? I don't know. Uh, I work... So I work a factory job, so I have to work 10 hours a day anyway. So I'm used to staying, you know. I wake up, get ready, and all that shit. By the time I, you know, get home from work, that's been around a 12 hour... 12 hours right there anyway. So. Dude, no. There's gonna be no part four. Okay, either I finish this today, or Game Boy Expedition is just done. Like, it's not worth it anymore. There's other shit. There's other shit out there to do and watch. I work for a Tenja. Okay, well, hold on. I work four tens until my job decides. Oh, no, 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 we have way too much work to do. You're doing more than four tens now. <laughs> Part four last four hours. So, yeah, I mean, it really it depends on how dumb my job is being for the day. I accidentally zapped this fucking block. Uh, pretty much physically kill myself? Is that an answer? What the fuck? Okay, those blocks came back way quicker than I thought they were going to. Um... Alright. So... I, I actually, I really need to change, posi change positions in my job, because it's pretty phys physically demanding, and, uh... I started having knee issues since I, because I've worked there before. I went back to the job, and I've started having knee issues. And I actually fell on my knee because I do obstacle course races. I fell on my knee, not the knee I'm having issues with, the other knee. I fell on that knee at a Spartan race, and now I have issues with that knee too. Like I have a giant bump in my knee that's been there for over a month now, which isn't good, but I'm not going to the hospital because my job has shit insurance and I live in America. So I'm just suffering through this giant fucking knot on my knee. So I'm just hoping it'll eventually go away or kill me. One of the two. Um, but I do need to, I, I need to change what I do in my job. But at the moment, it's, I guess, moving shit, but not really moving shit. Okay, so I get like this... I work in a mod, and in the mod there is just a shit ton of locations, and each location has multiple pallets of the same product. My job is to go to the um, product, slap a sticker on it, or a label, and throw it on a belt. That rides down the belt, goes to the merge, and then from there it goes into a... Uh, uh, I fucking sat there way too long. It goes from the merge, it goes to the shipping lanes, and then those people put it in a, uh, a container, and then they put that in a truck, and then the truck goes to the stores. So I'm picking, like, each, like, a store tells, like, a store will send, you know, the information saying, hey, I need this. You know, they'll, you know, send what they're. Yeah, oh, they absolutely could, yeah. Like, it's the fact that it's not done by robots is completely surprising, because robots would do it quicker, more accurately, less damages. I, I don't know why it's not automated. I mean, I guess it keeps me in, uh, in business, so whatever. Um, but yeah, that's... I'm pretty much doing a robot's job. Holy shit! NME TV is now hosting me with 459 viewers. Hey, what's up, uh... Dukajev? I'm, I'm assuming that's what I'm going with, Dukajev? Take a raid for coming in. Oh! Thanks for the raid, enemy. Man, what's up? Spreading that, uh, post-GDQ raid love. Yeah, I mean, I'm not assuming it's something too horrific, crazy. It's just, it's just been a knot on my knee for over, over a month now. 
It only really hurts when I hit the damn fucking knot. Like when I face planted on my bed earlier, I hit it and I was like, okay, that hurts. Damn it! This fucking stage. Enemy, I was actually in your stream right before I started streaming. And uh, I don't think you actually saw my comment. And it made me sad because I thought it was a really clever comment. Yes, everyone, this is the last stage. I've been on this stage for about two and a half hours now. So, don't expect to see anything other than this stage. <laughs> um, no, when I joined into your stream, you said, uh, all I heard, like, I, I kid you not, like, right as I join in, all I hear is the words, very easy. So I made the comment, I join in, and all I hear is enemy saying very easy, and I automatically assume he's talking about getting me into bed, and it makes me sad. And then you you got busy because you were doing um shit. What was the name of that game? CL Chambers. Now hosting me for 86 viewers, man. Thank you. Um, <sighs> I can't remember the name of the game. I've I've watched it so many times. It looks like a, a pretty good speed run too. But you were playing that. You're right at the end of the game, and you died to the boss. And like you were sitting there playing that, and uh, so you were focused on other shit. Yeah, I know. You were playing a good bit. God, what was that? Karate something, maybe? It was a Game Boy game. So, <laughs> that's all I can... It was a Game Boy game! Yeah, yeah, screw all that crazy. Uh, I'll just accept the pain for now. Like, okay, here's what sucks. Like, So, uh, you know, I was at the Spartan race, and it's just, it's just mud. Yeah, it probably Kung Fu Master Enemy. Probably. Um... So I was at the Spartan race and it was just mud everywhere, just mud. And I managed to get through these like massive, massive piles of slippery ass mud and didn't fall. I get to this little tiny fucking spot, little tiny spot of mud. That's where I fucking slipped and fell, landed right on my knee. And when I came down, all of my weight landed on my left knee and I fucking landed on like a tree root or something or a rock and just pain, pain ever since, dude. <laughs> God, dude, jump up, jump to the left, jump to the f fucking. <sighs> so, okay, I've been stuck on this stage for about two and a half hours now. The reason why is because if, uh, Right there when I get through that door, if any of the enemies die, they are now stuck in the same spot and I cannot complete the game. Or I cannot complete the area, so. And I haven't been able to figure out how exactly to maneuver everybody yet, so. Sounds amazing for Game Boy. Oh, you mean real life. <laughs> I mean, who actually needs their kneecap though, right, Crazy? So, I mean, I assume eventually I'll just like take a hacksaw to it and just, okay, there we go, and no more pain. See ya, see ya Chambers, thanks for the raid, man. Have a good night, good night's rest. Maybe, Granin, I don't know, I'm fucking completely confused on how to get in over there and out of my fucking way. <laughs> to be honest, this thing is really... <laughs> you know, it, it, it's sad because I still catch myself kind of humming the um, the theme. And it's just, it's silly because it's the same beat for 26 hours, but it's like, yeah, this is good. I'll try that, Granin. Okay, see, crazy, I could have gotten insurance, but the insurance on my job is just God awful. And I was like, you know what? I'm alright with not having insurance. I was hoping, like, I don't really do anything except for my job, which my job is, you know, physically demanding, so not the best idea to not have insurance, but I figured, oh, you know, I shouldn't fucking. I should be fine. Yeah, no. That was a bad idea. The game's. Okay, it's not. If you're good at puzzles, no. If you're horrible at puzzles, yes. 
I guess that's the best way I can put it, because I'm, I'm just shit at puzzle games. Come on, dude. Jump up and get to the left. Jump up and get to the left. Nope. And he just jumps up and goes fucking straight back down, dude. Yeah, I know, crazy, but, you know, the body does magical things. That's what I'm hoping and praying for. No, okay, my reason why is I went to the doctor right as I started this job. Um, right as I started the job, I had to take a week off. Like, literally, I worked two days, then took a week off because I got I developed tendonitis, or tendonitis in my right forearm. And just that little visit, like, I went there, the doctor was like, yeah, that's tendonitis. And then I had to go back after a week for him to be like, yeah, it looks better. You can work now. Those two visits cost me $300 combined. I'm like, dude, fuck that. So if I actually have to go, you know, for something like semi-serious, I don't have, I don't have fucking, I mean, I have money for it. I just don't want to spend it. <laughs> it's absurd. Healthcare in America sucks ass. What are you talking about? Game Facts has always been relevant. Name one time in the history of America, Game Facts has not been relevant. Tetris Nitro in your right arm? I, dude, I hope that's what it is. That's that's what I really need in my right arm is Tetris Nitro. You can do what I do and not pay the bills. <laughs> You're crazy. I like that fucking idea. I know I counted Mississippi's to try and find that time. Really, granted, that's that's gorgeous. And I love how you actually I counted Mississippi's. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the fact that you counted Mississippi's. But yeah, crazy. Don't they like come after you for that? It's not that they're like, ah, oh, he's just not paying, and they just disappear. Like, I'm pretty sure they want their fucking money. And I just, I'm one of those people, I have, I got fucking stuck in a damn block. I'm gonna have to redo this. I'm just one of those people, man. I feel like I have horrible luck with everything. So, like, imagine if there's, like, a million people in the world just, like, not paying their bills. I would be the person where if I ever did that, where I just, you know, fuck this, I'm not paying the bill. They actually, like, send, like, you know, the mafia after me or something. I'm just like, ah, fuck that. Oh, I get, I get what you're saying, Granin, but it was just, it was terrific. Because I haven't heard anybody say that they count Mississippis in so long. That was a thing that you did when you were a kid, you know? Turn you over the debt sharks, sell your debt to people, sell your debt. Okay. I see the issue is it's not like I can't afford it. I have uh What the fuck am I doing? I didn't shoot those blocks. It's not that I can't afford it, I can't afford it. Um I spend very little of my money that I make at the job. So I'm building a nice nest egg for myself. But I just my big issue with it is the fact that I it cost a fortune. Like healthcare just cost a fucking unreasonable amount. That's my issue. I'm alright with suffering through knee pain because I think healthcare in America sucks and they want an unreasonable amount of money. That's my logic behind this. Like, uh, whatever. I, I'm not paying you guys. It just, it's just asinine how much money you want. No, you fucking asshole. Go up. The devs need to fix, uh, they definitely need to fix that glitch. It's a horrible, horrible glitch. I wonder if I can get him stuck. I wonder if I can get him stuck in the uh, right side of the screen. Instead of trying to get him stuck in that room. But I, 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 you know, like, I think I can get him stuck in that room. The insurance for fucking cyber mutant zombies, like, insane. Because they, they, they just keep respawning. Oh, Manix, that's what makes me laugh, is, um, I've considered moving to Canada. Like, I've actually, I shit you not, I've looked up 
what needs to get what I need to do to be able to move to Canada. I hate the cold. I fucking hate the cold. I just don't want to live in America because America's healthcare system is just garbage. And it makes me laugh because whenever I look it up, people in Canada complain about having to wait. And that's your guys' like chief complaint. It's like it sucks because you have to wait months and months and months to, for shit to happen. It's like, yeah, America, it's not like it's quick either, and you have to pay a fucking fortune. So, I mean, I would rather wait months to have something done than just pay a fortune. But, I mean, I think it's always one of those grass is greener type of situations where... Maybe if, you know, I didn't have Canada's health insurance, I would complain about having the, the massive wait times and whatnot. <clears throat> they will only take me to court if they're over 1500 Oh, I can fucking get the bill that high. I can do it. PPI, I love how your advice has moved to Europe. That ginormous fucking continent. Just move there. Like, couldn't be any more specific. I'll just move in with you, PPO. You got a spare bed? Blame but time. Yeah. Green from the medic to is actually pretty Yeah. You know, I was actually I was looking like I said, I was looking up this stuff about Canada, and I found out that um and it was funny as shit, because I was reading a post on Reddit about it, and somebody was talking about health healthcare in Canada, and a guy was like talking to somebody, he's like, Yeah, but you don't get the health care right away. You have to pay like 45 a year or something like that to get health care in Canada until you're uh, like a full fledged citizen. My fucking jaw dropped. I was like, wait a minute, that's it? Like 45 a year and I get actual fucking health care? Like, oh god, no. PPL. Dude, come on! Just go to the left, please! I'm begging you! Uh, I have no idea- I have no idea how I can get him to move to the left, but I just- I, I don't think I can take him with me to the right, because then I, I get two guys down there and I guarantee I kill one of them. I need him stuck somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> travel overseas on patching a Canadian flag on my backpack. <laughs> you know, like... You know the Canadian joke about them always being nice and happy and all that? It's all about the timing. Okay, PPL, you say that, but I have no idea how I need to move to affect that timing. Like, I don't know, do I need to be on the left? Do I need to be on the right? Do I need to be moving to the left? Do I need to be moving right? Do I need to move down the ladder? Like, that's the issue. I don't know how I need to be moving. So, the timing doesn't mean jack shit to me if I don't know how I need to move. But, uh, man, it's like, the joke about Canadians always being nice and everything, the best thing to me is... I've seen the clip so so many times on Imager and Reddit, and it kills me every single fucking time. I can't remember what movie it's from, but he's talking to um, he's talking to Justin Long. I don't know what his character is in the movie, but he's talking about uh, how America invented sadness, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, no, I'm serious. What do you see when you look at what do you see when you look beyond that majestic maple leaf? And he's in there talking about the Canadian flag and everything. He's like, you see red, white, but never blue, ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just terrific. So apparently, you got Canadians are just never sad. You guys are never blue. I, every time I fucking hear that, I just, every time I, well, I guess, read it, not hear it, but I just, it makes me laugh. Right, this is about to jump down, you blast the brick. Right, as he falls to the hole. So, like, when he falls into the hole the first time, like, I'm supposed to... I have no idea what the fuck you're saying, PPL. So when, okay, 
So when he falls into the hole, you gotta blast the final one really, really. Okay. Oh, so you're saying the block I place, the block, the block I get rid of, I need to time it really well so when he jumps out, it fucking forms. Oh, dude, are you shitting me? That sounds like a blast. I'm just expecting this person to, like kick the trash can. I'm watching this. <laughs> that little tip. <laughs> I'm fucking glad. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Man, I waited way too long. What am I doing? I was doing the opposite of doing it early. I was doing it as late as possible. All right. <clears throat> I the entire time I was like waiting for them to do something to those trash cans. What makes me laugh though is like that little tiny, like that cat maneuver where you just barely stick out your hand and just push it and then you're like what? <laughs> See, that's that's the reason why I want to move to Canada. Fuck the healthcare and all that, man. I want to move to Canada for that nonsense. Crazy, honestly, I like your advice, man. I just, I can't do it, man. I'm just not that type of person. Like, I'd like to... I just... I don't know. Like, it would eat up my conscience. Conscience. Like, I'd like to be able to just say, ah, fuck it, I'm not paying it, but... Every day, I'd be like, oh, shit. I mean, I'm just... I'm hoping that my knee gets better. Over time. That's how the human body works, right? Something's wrong with it, give it a few months, it just magically fixes itself. That's why medicine exists. How long is it? It's been a month. And nothing has changed at all. Dude, shoot the block, man. Super Famicom. I, you know, I don't think I've played many Super Famicom games. I mean, games that might be... That have probably, you know, started as Super Famicom or something like that. Heal in six months. Okay, that's what I'm aiming for. Right there. That's what I have wrong. That's exactly what I have wrong. Everything's gonna be fine. Damn it! Really fucked up that timing. <clears throat> really fucked up that timing. Area 88. <laughs> yeah, PPL, that's what's gonna happen. I'm like, hey, we have a video of you flat out saying you're gonna skip paying the bills. Like, no! Why, damn it, why? Oh, okay, okay. I really, I was actually just looking online for um, Super Game Boy 2s. Well, I guess not Super Game Boy 2s, that's, that's a lie. I was looking online for Super Nintendos. So I can eventually buy a Super Game Boy 2 for it play this shit legit. Um, but, like, I checked eBay. Why is, it, why is it always so expensive? Like, this shit's always crazy expensive. If I tore my cap with a meniscus, that won't heal without minor surgery. Eh, I'm pretty sure I can perform a surgery on myself. That's what the internet's for, right? The internet's got everything you'd ever need. Uh, PPL, actually, I have a Game Boy player. I have a GameCube. I have all that already. So, I mean, I, I could use that. But, Super Nintendos are cooler, and... I just, I really enjoy the Super Nintendo controller. Which I know you can, like, get a Super Nintendo controller working on the GameCube. But... 
It's just not the same. Now, honestly, my biggest issue right now is the fact that, uh, uh, like, my capture card and cables are garbage. So the quality I capture is just horrible. I want to set up. I want to set up GBI, but I just. Uh... <laughs> you could kill yourself if you try. <laughs> You know, you say that crazy, but I was actually talking to, uh, my stepmom. Damn it. I was talking to my stepmom about my insurance. I think I- I'm thinking I might have been talking to her about my knee. Uh, why- that's why I brought it up. Not really sure. I was talking to her about my insurance. <clears throat> and, uh, she was like, well, what's your insurance? And I was like, my insurance right now, at the, this point in time, is either one, don't get hurt, or two, get so badly hurt that I die. <laughs> That's my insurance at this point in time. So, I mean, if I perform surgery on myself and kill myself, I mean, that's part of the insurance plan. SNES got needed for GB as well. I don't even know what RGB is. I'm as clueless as clueless does. Jump! <gasps> first try. First try. I'm a god. First try doing it with like an actual timing instead of just fucking hitting the damn thing. <laughs> I can, yes, crazy. I'm completely fine with that. And the good thing is, I'll I'll let I'll let a random viewer in chat know what my address is. So if I start dying, somebody can be like, "Hey, uh, this is his address." Shit, fuck that up. Do the rest of the stage flawless? Yeah, I gotta get moving. <clears throat> go 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 go! Yes. Okay. <sighs> my heart, my heart's going a little pitter patter. Twitch plays surgery. <laughs> Alright, now here's the issue, is I still haven't figured- like, I know how to do this puzzle, but I haven't gotten it yet. Alright, now just shoot two to the left, up plus B. Oh yeah! Up plus B, democracy, what the- Reset in here. I was like freaking out. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. You son of a fucking whore. You son of a fucking whore. I was just, I was trying not, I didn't want him too close to me, I didn't want him to die, and I just kept on, like, and he just, he died. Is there any possibility he would be nice enough to walk down the ladder? Come on, dude, walk down the ladder. Come on, be a bro, be a bro, come on. Come on, because if he dies, he spawns here, and he blocks the ladder. So now I can't finish the stage. Come on, jump! 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 
Fucking... <sighs> That's why I've been stuck for so long, because I can't kill any of the enemies. And, uh... If I have any of them, like, together, there's a high chance that I'll kill one of them while trying to avoid them. So I have to keep them separate. I can't kill them, either on accident or purpose. And I have to do a bunch of puzzles while st staying under the time limit in that area. So, yeah, it's... Man, I'm having a fucking blast with this game. Twelve and a half hours. Twelve and a fucking half hours on this game today. It is actually my bedtime now. That's how long I've been streaming. That it is now my bedtime. It, I'm literally going to finish this game, eat something, and go to bed. That that was my day today. I woke up, had breakfast, played this game, ate something, went to sleep. <laughs> This game is almost as bad as you need. No, this game is much worse than I need. Ah, I fucking missed. Dude, Twitch playing this game would be amazing. The first puzzle took me and Granin both quite a while to finish. So, I mean, I'm the first, the first puzzle, the first stage, like... You figure the first stage would be like a gimme. No, 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 they, they, uh-uh, uh-uh. But also, like, you know, with it being a, um, puzzle game, half of it's getting used to just how the game works and whatnot, so. Now just to figure out how I accidentally did uh, this part. I think the timing was off. <clears throat> I was close. <laughs> I want to go with the last part of the name. I can I can t tell what the last part of the name is supposed to say. That's supposed to say Redfield. So I'm calling you Redfield. See, okay, here's... Okay. I My biggest weakness, my greatest weakness as a streamer, I cannot fucking read names to save my life. I, I, I'm not even joking. I'm not exaggerating. If somebody held a gun to my head and told me to read, like, ten Twitch names... That guy would be killing me. I can't read names, man. I just, they all, like, I still have yet to, I, I, I refuse to say his name. He even noticed that I've been purposely avoiding saying his name. Because it's like C-R and just some random letters. Like, how, how am I supposed to read that? Delete option? See, there we go. That's, that's the type of name that I, I need. I need somebody to just a really straightforward name, so I'm like, bam, I know how to read that. <laughs> He's off punching a boulder or something. <laughs> I've only played one. One. I'm trying to actually think, I'm about ready to say one uh, Resident Evil, but I don't think it's Redfield. What is the last name for the fucking... Those characters. Yeah, I missed the block family. <clears throat> it was my first random character name. Wow. Wow. Okay, there you go. That's that's a cool way to. Uh, keep the name alive. Man, my fucking mind just just nothing there. I was like, uh, what am I trying to say? I. Uh, it's better than the name that I went with in a while. I actually like had a name that I you know chose. And I hated it. Because, like, Atroz, like the name I go with now, <coughs> people mispronounce all the time. Especially on first-person shooters. First-person shooters are the worst. People always mispronounce my name on first-person shooters. But, uh, World of Warcraft, the name I had was different than Atroz. And, my goodness, people butchered that shit. Jack. 
Jump! Oh yeah, that was way too soon. Um, Cry Eric. That seems close to me. That's what I was thinking. But... You know, like, uh, if you look at the dictionary, how they have the... What, what's the thing called? I know there's an actual word for it, like a name for it, where they, how they break the word up, tell you how to pronounce it correctly. I need that attached to, like, almost everybody's name in uh, Twitch, just so I can be like, oh, that's how I pronounce their name correctly. You've been called Mike? See, I was actually about to call you Mile, but then I realized that, like, the I... And the L is like swapped. I was like, that's not Mile. Chuck Norris plays Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. The good old days of uh, <clears throat> hearing Chuck Norris jokes in Baron's chat. Because if I'm reading that right, my eye, every every time I look at your name, my eyes are having trouble seeing it. But that is M L I E, right? So I'm assuming it's like Mly, which is just see if if the I and the L was swapped, we're good. I can just call you Mile. But my name's I'm assuming that's supposed to be Emily, just based on what I'm reading. So, I don't know. Like, if you guys ever want your names butchered, just completely fucking not even close to accurate, I'm your man. Look no further. If I could make money saying names, people's names incorrectly, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Shit! I did not mean to fall. God damn it. I know, right? I was actually sitting there thinking about that PPL. I was like, I need to get uh, chat active on my... I need to have chat on my um, layout. Because I'm talking to you guys, and if anybody, like the one random person on YouTube comes across my video, they're going to be watching this like, what the fuck conversation is he carrying on about? And just, I think, I think everybody's retired from World of Warcraft, right? Is there any people, is there any people? Is there anybody that actually still plays the game that had played it before? Like, I mean, after a few years, I feel like you just burn out of the game. And not only that, like, it kept on slowly getting worse, you know what I mean? You've been playing WoW all stream- Okay, now that makes sense why you're still here. There had to be something else going on. And you know, the best thing is, though, is not only are you playing WoW all stream, you also have Google open to answer all my questions every time I ask them. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> so that's how everybody retires from WoW. They start having families. Like, they don't mean to retire. They just found that one woman who was okay with having sex with them, and then they accidentally have children. It's like, oh shit, I can't play WoW anymore. I say that, and I, I think, you know, it's, it's actually incredible to me how many, uh, like, that's a common story, where there's so many people whose guilds just broke up because of people having kids and whatnot, just accidentally have, I mean, well, PPL, you gotta understand from my point of view, I don't want to get married, I don't ever want to get married, so to me, you know, accidentally having a family would be, you know, like, tripping into a fucking... a marriage. Like, you're just walking along one day, and then you trip, and you accidentally fucking put a ring on somebody's finger. You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, I did not mean to do that! And then, you know, from there, you trip some more and have kids. 
pretty sure that's how it works, right? You gotta remember, okay, I, I grew up in a I, I grew up in a small town. We didn't really have um health class, so I have no idea how this shit works. I think I'm close to accurate on how babies are made. You know, you just trip and fall, and then accidents happen. Next thing you know, you got kids. Run! <laughs> Hold in two to three conversation time, then we'll find groups. Yeah. I just take a lot of drugs, so that's why I'm capable of paying attention to all this at once. Couldn't <laughs> even play Tetris. Well, to be fair, it depends on what level of Tetris you're playing. For me, I can't play Tetris at all, so I guess it does. Shit! Shit! Fuck! <sighs> okay. For me, I can't play Tetris at all. So even just basic Tetris would require all my attention. But there's some people. Man, have you seen those fucking people that are playing like, like Tetris? <laughs> I have no idea how else to explain it. Like I know there's a name for the game or whatever, like the harder versions. But like, have you seen the people who play like Tetris? I was like, holy shit, dude! It's terrifying. There's a, um, I know there's like a bonus stage or something like that at the end. Like if you do so well, it unlocks a bonus stage where you get to play like more fucking Tetris. <laughs> and then the pieces are fucking invisible. Like you see them. Like I think in the, the you know the little thing on the side that shows you your next piece. That's like that's all you fucking see. Everything is invisible. It's like what the fuck nonsense is that? Who the fuck can play Tetris like that? Like you had to give me Tetris as slow as possible. Where I can see the pieces, I will still fuck up. And you're talking, you're telling me there's people out there that can do invisible Tetris. That's terrifying. Just, it's terrifying. That's what it is. There's Creeric, Creeric. I saw you write your name, but I, I didn't fucking, I didn't process how you said you pronounce it. I'm gonna call you Eric. That's your name. From now on, in my chat, you're Eric. I hope you like it. But, uh, I'm so confused. Where are you from where you're going to a family reunion? Call me Alex. See, you're, Al you're Eric already, buddy. Like, I wish I could. Like, it sucks. I wish you would've told me this sooner. But, you're Eric. Damn it! I'm just sitting there for some reason. Eric Alex 96. <laughs> I don't know. People just start calling me Alex. Uh, you know, I'm like, wait a minute, it starts at 10.30, dude. You got a while. God, I've been awake for... I've been playing this game. No, I shouldn't say I've been awake for a long time, because I haven't been awake for a long time. I've been awake for... 15 hours at this point? So not too long, but it's just I've been playing this game for so fucking long, my sense of time is just shot at this point in time. So when you're like, yeah, it's at 10.30 a.m., I'm like, man, you got a long fucking time. Look down at the clock, 8.13. Never mind. <laughs> See, I'm always thinking of you guys when I give you these names. I just, I know your personalities so well, even when it's my first time meeting you. I'm like, I know what names you guys would be okay and not okay being stuck with. Like, Fake Alex over here, aka Eric. I know he wanted to be called Eric when he was younger. He always yelled at his mom, like, why the fuck did you name me Alex? And he's just, he's happy as shit to be Eric now. P <laughs> No, actually, I don't know about you guys, but I, I actually, I hate my name because, uh, like, it's just so common. I don't know if you guys have that issue or not. Like, 
I feel like most people have a common name, but most of them just like, they just shrug their shoulders like, yeah, whatever, I got a common name. I hate my name, dude. My name is so common. I, I graduated, I, I want to say there's like, maybe like 60 people or something like that, 70. I want to say less than 100 people in my graduating class. And six of them were Joshua's. Like, it's way too common of a name. Your name is Robert? Yeah, see what I mean? Like, names like that, it's like... Wow, your, your name is Steven Alex? I'm assuming your middle name is Alex, unless you're just one of those people that, for some reason, just... Fuck it, I'm going by Alex, and it's l literally nowhere in your name. You know, I hope that's it. You know what, I take back what I said. I hope your middle name is not Alex. I hope you just one day are like, fuck it, I want people to call me Alex. And they're like... Everybody's just like, why? And you're like, eh, why not? So you're just Alex to everybody. But, uh... Like, I mean, I could go by my middle name, because my middle name's also a first name. Because my middle name's Adam. Which is slightly less common, so I got that going for me. But I think if I had to choose, I'd rather be Eve. Or maybe the snake. I'm not really certain. Probably the snake. <laughs> well, to be fair, Crazy, think about your name, man. Your name is Crazy Awesome. Of course somebody has that name. No, my family... Okay. My family is as far away from being religious as a family is capable of being without being, like... You know, like, if you go to a point, like, being, like, not religious, you start getting to, like anti-real, you know, religion, which kind of becomes a real, real religion, we're just right there in that middle, where we haven't swapped over yet to, like, an anti-religion or anything. But, yeah, I'm about as far away from being religious as possible. My whole family is. Um, but no, my mom, uh, my mom, I'm pretty sure she did pick all of our names from the fucking Bible. Or, as I like to point out, she picked our names from super common boys' names that everybody and their brother has. Anti-religion, yes. Stupid German people always take him voila. I'm so- I'm so close to it, dude. I know- I know I'm right there on the precipice of getting that name correctly. It's voila, right? <laughs> Damn it, I did not mean to fall. Fuck me. I keep forgetting that the invisible block's there, and I'm just like, okay, let's just get let's get prepared for when he jumps up and doesn't get killed. I just can't bring myself to call you Mo. You got such a unique I was about to say Belgian name, but I have no idea if it's Belgian at all. You have such a unique name, I just can't bring myself to keep calling you Mo. Plus, I love butchering your name and calling you Mola. No, I, I've actually heard you say your name multiple times. And not only did like have I heard you say your name multiple times, I have actually like constantly listened to you say, like, oh, he said his name. And I'll sit there and just keep repeating it over and over and over again. And I just, I can't figure out how you fucking say your name. It's like Mola. Like Mula. Like as in money? It's a Flemish dialect word. That's cool. See, my name's boring. I wish I had, like, a cool story like that. It's a Flemish dialect word. Man, I'm gonna be so, so mad if I don't beat Granin's time. That That's it. That's my only goal in life right now. I was wanting the sub-24, the sub-24 is not even close anymore. I just want to beat Granin. Just, that's it. Just so I can, like, point out that I am better than at least one person in the universe. 69 hours. Nice. Oh, that sounds fun, Mo. It sounds a lot more entertaining than what I'm doing. God, why do I keep doing this to myself? Am I an idiot? 
Jump! Jump! Alright, guys. I feel like somebody, sh somebody should warn me that there's a giant fucking hole there. I haven't played this stage enough to know this yet. It's 700 degrees on a long river. Dude, that's, that's really impressive if it's 700 degrees. You should probably not take, uh... You should probably not do barbecues on a star. I was gonna say the sun, but I feel like the sun's a little bit hard, hotter than a star. Or, the sun's a little bit hot- well, the sun is a star, but I feel like the sun is still hotter than a star. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know that, PPL, but like, for some reason my brain just registers the sun as being hotter than a star. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, does anybody else just have that thought where like, ah, the sun's hotter than a star? I don't- I don't know why I think that. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna have to beat every Game Boy game now. It's- I'm committed at this point in time. So, it's just- after playing this game, I'm just forced to play every other game. Like, even if I hate every game, it's just, eh, 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 I'm stuck here now. No, it's it's been rapping. We're keeping it that way. Rapping, you know, when the rain is rapping on your, uh, windows. Rapping. It's the rap meme. <laughs> Run! Dude, come on, I am hitting... <sighs> Damn it, game, come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I haven't read that in such a long time. Oh my god. Delete, you know, I'm just, I'm looking up at chat and I keep wanting to say thank you delete for the bits, because I meant to say that when you first donated them. Did you donate bits? When you first gave them to me? Booyah! When I don't fall down the hole like an idiot, it's easy. Um, so yeah, thanks for the bits, delete. 17 hours later, thank you for the bits. See, that's the type of uh, quality you can get in my channel. Yes, I wonder why you gave me four bits. I just, I still feel it's required for me to say thank you. Just like if anybody walked up, punched me in the face, and handed me a dime. I'd be like, oh, thank you. That's, that's really fucking nice of you. I mean, not saying I want somebody to walk up and punch me in the face and hand me a dime, but, I mean, I'm not the type of person that's just going to shrug a dime away. Oof. <laughs> I don't want to get your questions. <laughs> no, I'm always amazed by those people. That, uh, apparently just make so much money in life where they can just be like, meh, huh, fucking change? What's this shit? No! Not like this! Not like this, Daniel! No! Who the fuck is Daniel? I'm so close to getting it, and I'm just <laughs> I'm fucking it up. Like, okay, that guy right there, he's got so many fucking loads of gold around him, and um, there's so many like things of gold around him. And I'm terrified because every time I try to go for that gold, he kills himself. So all I'm focusing on is not having him die. 
<laughs> so I'm so, so focused on him not dying that I'm not grabbing any of the gold. So when I finally get over there, I'm like, okay, I just need the gold now. And there's just so many fucking piles of gold that I can't get him in time, and I'm trying to avoid him dying still. There's, w there's too much. This is why I could never be a father. This, I'm not good at doing a bunch of shit at once. I'm a very singular person. Yes, I did need uh, Daniels. Thank you for that, Dot Vic. Is there a list of the 25 games you have? But yes, if you, um, Civil Wing, if you go below my stream, there would be a giant Game Boy. Giant Game Boy. Click on that. That is my, um, my spreadsheet for Game Boy Expedition, and that actually has all the Game Boy games I have done. The Game Boy games, I'm the order I'm going to play them in because I, I do I use random.org to determine what games I'm going to be playing next. And uh, all that nonsense. So. so if you're ever wondering, hey, when's he going to play blah 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 game? If you just keep a look at keep looking on that spreadsheet, you'll be able to determine when I'm going to be able to play what game. Thank you for that one salty bit. Eric. I'm not calling you Alex, dude. I just, I want you, that's never happening. Yes, I gave up. Because, yeah, that was, it was way too colorful. It actually hurt my eyes. At one point in time, um, I got done playing. I got done playing the, uh, <coughs> the GBA for the event. And, uh, or for the, you know, Game Boy completion. And I actually had a tan from the Game Boy Advance. And it was, it was multicolored and weird. It was weird. It was a horrible tan. So I figured I'd stick with the Game Boy. So if I did get tanned, it'd be, you know, black and white. So I don't have to worry as much, you know. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Everybody just suffered from temporary blindness. I am completely calm. You're oh, dimes! Yay, dimes! <laughs> so the bits, really. <laughs> okay, serious question here. Am I the only one that I will pick change up off the ground? Because I feel like there's a lot of people out in the world, they'll like, they'll be like reaching into the pocket for like keys or something, and like, oh shit, I just dropped some change, and they'll just leave it. I, that, that's, that's crazy to me. Like, if it takes me a second to bend over and pick up like a penny, I'm like, dude, I think I get paid more a second by doing that than at my job. So I'm like, hey, you know. Your mom would yell at you? What? Why would she yell at you? I don't have sense. You don't have sense at all, PPL. Let alone in your pockets. Those pennies are dirty. <laughs> but man, it's money! See? You know what it is. When she says they were dirty, she meant they were, um... They were fake. You know, that kind of dirty. Like, they're hot. The penny, Those pennies are hot. Drop those. You don't want those? Take it to a bank or... See, I, 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 I can't, okay. <laughs> I'm constantly telling people how cheap I am. This is horrifying. There needs to be less people watching me, so every time I point out how cheap I am, I don't feel as cheap because there's less people that know. But uh, I'm one of those people, I'm just so cheap, I refuse to go to a coin star and shit because they take some of your money. Fuck that. I can roll the shit myself. Like, that just, I can't do it. It's literally me going like, 
It's me just dumping a bunch of change into a machine. And then them like, okay, here's how much you put in this machine. We're taking a percentage of that. It's like, no. Um, Granon, because he has dumb AI. I'm not even joking. As long as I've been playing this game, or this stage, the first guy will do just fine. The second guy will get in the hole, hop out of the hole, and go right back in the hole and die. So it's faster for me to kill him. Like, I will show you next time, because I guarantee I'm not beating the fucking stage. So I will show you the next time. Like, he just hops in the hole and then just hops right back out. Or hops out of the hole and hops right back in. He, he's not very bright. So I call that guy dumb AI. I can't tell you the last time I donated, or yeah, donated. I, I was trying to read and talk, and I, I just snuck the word donated in there. Um, I can't tell you the last time I used a coin star. Because I, I, I just roll all my change myself, so. I can tell you the last time I donated. Can I? Actually, can I? I do donate. Pretty <laughs> sick. Oh, I messed that up. I was too busy laughing at my own stupidity. Alright, come on, come on. Jump! And right back in. <clears throat> Speaking of donating, because this always bothers me. Um, like, you know whenever you go shopping or whatever, and they have those, like, little donation things? They're like, hey, would you like to donate blah 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 so and so much money to this foundation or whatever? I feel like I'm the only person that does that. Like, I know I'm not. Like, that's crazy to think, but, like, I don't think I've ever actually been behind somebody where they actually said yes to that. And I'm one of those people, as stingy I is, as I am with my money, I always donate. Alright, so watch this, Granon. This is the dumb AI. Amnesty International women blocks your way to the shop. Wait, what? Like, you're telling me they're just, like, standing in front of you? So, okay, I'm doing the same thing as the last guy. Look at him, he just, he just jumps right back in the hole. I, I don't, I, I don't know what this guy's problem is. He's just done with life. Issues happened. So, okay, I, I don't get it. So what are they doing? They're just standing in a way, blocking you, like, refusing to let you go past unless you donate? To me, that just sounds like fucking good business practice right there, man. Think about it. <sighs> if they had, like, some WWE wrestlers or, like, you know, a linebacker, an NFL linebacker or something like that, and, uh, and they had them sitting there, and they were asking you to donate, you'd probably donate, you know what I mean? Like, they're just using fear as a tactic. You, you gotta appreciate it. Nah, that just, that sounds horrifying. Like, donations are, of course, you know, something that should be donated. That's weird. I'm trying to think of a different word to say. Uh, donations are something that, you know, you should want to give, want to do, words. So, I mean, it's absolutely, it, it's definitely weird. Is it like one shop that they do that to, PPO? Or is it like multiple shops? Voluntary. That's the word I was looking for. That's exactly the word I was looking for. <laughs> so not only am I showing to people that I am cheap with my money, but I do donate. I'm also showing people I'm a fucking idiot who don't who doesn't know basic words. <laughs> Exactly, right? <laughs> it's just, it's its common sense. Like, you just, somebody's blocking your way, and the bigger and scarier they are. I mean, one shop you've seen. I actually have no idea what Amnesty International is. Like, I've heard it before, but, you know, it's, it, it's something I have heard. No idea what it does. There's so many, so many organizations out there, so many, um...
so many charities out there, so. Like, um, I go running every Saturday, and any other day that I feel like going running. But I make sure I go running every Saturday when I wake up. Uh, and I actually, I run two different apps on my phone when I go running. I have a, uh, an app that, like, better keeps track of, like, the distance and time and all that, so I use that. And then there's an app that I found that actually, like, donates to charities based on the distance that you travel. Damn it, I keep messing this up. <sighs> Crazy I can't help myself. I, I just, I want to go running. I enjoy running, so I go running. <laughs> If my knee gets, you know, if my knee gets worse, my knee doesn't get better, it's like, eh, I did something I enjoyed. Fuck that knee. I mean, I got two of them, right? So that's the reason why you have two knees, is if you, like, misplace one, or severely injure one, you have another one as a backup. Charity Miles. Charity Miles, that's what it's called. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. That's the app I'm talking about, but if you activate that, it'll actually, uh, like, you can donate. Like, it donates money to charities for you based on your distances or whatever. It's really cool. I I, I hope. I assume. Like, I don't... Haha, <laughs> delete. <laughs> I, uh, you know, haven't put, like, a lot of research into the company to make sure that they're not, like, doing some shady business. Because, sadly, there's a lot of charities that kind of are into, like, the shady business stuff. But, um... You know, it's cool. And it... Of course, the charity that I picked is ASPCA, which I have no idea what it stands for, what it does, but it's for pets. It's for animals. All the other, all the other um, charities are for humans, and then there's just one for animals. I'm like, well, I like animals a hell of a lot more than I like people. Let's go with ASPCA. A S P C A, ASPCA. GDQ gives your money to ISIS. That's why they've been fucking so well funded. God damn it, GDQ. Uh, I don't. I don't have uh, cable, so I wouldn't know. And thank God I don't have cable, just because those were like the worst commercials in the world. And I say worse as in, like, super sad. Like, they were heart-wrenching. Like, I can watch, like, when they show commercials of, like, a human being struggling. I'm like, eh, that sucks for them. And I can be like, eh, you know, I can feel some sympathy. But when, like, I see, like, an animal, I'm like, oh, God, that's... Ugh. Like, it, it just hurts. It just... Animals, in my mind, deserve better than humans, apparently. <laughs> No animal has wronged me so severely in my life. It does, man. Like, it's... It's horrible, man. Like... You know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's one of those moments where you just wish that you were uh, a sociopath. So you just didn't feel sympathy. Empathy. Both of them? I think it's both of them, right? But uh, you just didn't feel, you know, that type of shit. And you're just like, yeah, whatever. I ain't fucking donating you money. I ate the smoking cancer black and lungs one. Oh, my favorite commercials, because you uh, mentioned like tobacco type commercials and whatnot, was the ones with the people with holes in their neck. And they're uh, talking about like how you don't want to like smoke or whatever. And they're like, oh, you don't want to fucking do this because of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but you sound so cool. I have not played uh, Ninja Gaiden for uh, my Game Boy Expedition yet, but I actually do hold the world record for Game Boy or uh, for uh, Ninja Gaiden Shadow. So, quick shout-outs to my YouTube, which has the video of me poorly playing Ninja Gaiden Shadow for the world record. Is there something wrong with, like, um, damn, I'm, my mind is just gone today, boys. 
just gone. I'm trying to think of the word, but I can't. Something. That's the word we're looking for. Something. Screw it. We're looking for the word something. <clears throat> I'm done talking. I'm done making a fool of myself. It's embarrassing. Run! Run, Forrest! Run! <sighs> there we go. Alright. You're on world record pace, basically. Actually, you know what's funny? Um, not so much funny. Haha. -ha, like, pretty much anything I talk about, but funny because I find it funny. Um... There's a game I actually played, <clears throat> Great Greed, uh, number six I think it was from my list. Great game, by the way. Great, great, great game. If you guys have never played it, check it out. Anywho, um, I fucking did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was so happy. I was just so happy for like a second. I was just so happy. I'm done. I'm done. I cannot believe that happened. I was able to get to like, I've done that multiple times where I've exited after two cycles. And I just... That's it. Stream's done. Well, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Somebody else can finish the game for me. Somebody want to beat this game for me. Oh, I cannot believe that happened. I was so happy. Like, ah. Oh. I did. <laughs> I did. Oh my goodness. I was so, so happy. I was like, oh my god, I finally fucking did it. I got all the shit. I got out of there. I was so happy. And then I just died. And it just... <laughs> yeah, I was talking about Great Greed. See, I, di I died on purpose because I wanted to talk to you guys about Great Greed. Di I did it for you guys. Um, no, uh... So... I was playing, like, game number 8 or 6 or something like that. It was Great Greed. Great little uh, turn-based RPG. If you guys have never heard of it, check it out. Funny as shit. I laughed my ass off playing the game. Anywho, um... When I actually beat it... Oops. When I actually beat it, I actually got the world record for the game. At least, you know, according to speedrun.com. Because the only run that was posted on speedrun.com was like 11 hours and 15 minutes. I beat the game in sub 9. <laughs> Casual playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Liking RPGs and actually recommending RPGs. I'm growing as a person. Instead of being this shell of a man who hates everything, I'm liking things now. The sun's shining. There's butterflies flapping their wings around me. There's this game ripping my fucking soul out. It's beautiful. 
Thank you so much for clipping that delete. Now if I'm ever feeling bad, like I'm having a bad day, I can just watch that and remind me of quite possibly the worst I've ever felt in my life. Oh, I can't believe it. I, was, I was so happy. I was so happy too, man. I thought I had it. I thought I was done. Sunshine. It's a long. Today's good day. 13 hours and 10 minutes. Why? Oh, speaking, speaking of which, um, because I got you all here. <laughs> I got you all here. Um, since you guys are all here, if you don't know, myself, um, Slash Infinity, and E Bloody Candy from the Game Boy Speedrunning community are putting on our second year of our man marathon of handheld heroes. So if you guys are interested in some marathony goodness, handheld heroes is um, a marathon next weekend, 13th to the 15th. It's going to be uh, a bunch of handheld games. <clears throat> so if you guys aren't too busy through the 13th and 15th and you want to watch some handheld heroes. Yeah, figured I'd let you guys know because we don't. It's hard for us to spread the word because none of us are uh, too well known throughout the speedrunning community. We, you know, we try our hardest, but you know, word of mouth always helps. So, yeah, crazy. It's the next weekend, bro. I'm glad you like the uh, clip, Granin. I'm dead inside, but. If the clip made you guys smile. And then, of course, you know. I think it's actually even worse reading Redfield's comment. Such an awesome clip. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> yeah, he, uh... He's actually doing a run this marathon, too. Actually doing two, if I recall correctly. Max and, um... Shin Chan, Crayon Shin Chan games. I don't know if you've ever watched the TV show or seen the video games or whatever. The games are pretty cool. The TV show is hysterical. But he, he really likes um, he really likes the Shin Chan games, so he's doing Shin Chan. I myself will be doing two games. And Slash Infinity, the main person really running this and keeping it all together, we'll be doing, um, Disney's Milan. If I was a better person, I would actually have a link for you guys. Actually, I do! I made sure I kept this open. Hold on. Bam! I'm a fucking genius. There we go. Problem solved. I actually kept that link open just in case... I wanted to talk to people about Handheld Heroes. There's the um, schedule for Handheld Heroes. So. Yeah, EBC. Yeah. He, you know, he's one of those people. He's been in the um, Game Boy speedrunning community for long, way longer than I have. I've, I've only been part of the Game Boy speedrunning community for, I think, like, maybe two years? A year and a half? Something like that. I know it's probably two years too much for Mo, but, you know. Uh... He's, he's a great guy. Slash, I mean, Slash has been part of it for a while now, too. He... Slash doesn't speedrun too much. His main game is Super Mario Land 2. He, he plays that every once in a while, but... One day speedrun is already too much. Yeah, yeah, um, Mr. Shasta is actually ending the marathon for us with two Metroid games, and he actually just got world record, um, the other day. And I think Samus Returns, I believe that's the one it was. Um, there's a, there's a bunch of good runners in there, a bunch of good games in there. Like I said, if you guys aren't busy, you know, come check it out. It's, it's a fun little marathon. Um, all of the art, the, um... Layout is done by 
EBC, and I don't know if Man Over Mars helped this year or not. He did last year. And if you guys are interested in watching the VOD of it, since I'm talking about it, if you guys just want to check out a little bit of it, see what it was like last year, before you commit to this year, um, <clears throat> we are doing a stream on Feasel's channel, on Speed Gaming, and we did it on his channel last year as well. You can find the um, the VOD of all the the entire marathon on Feasel's channel. Alright, I'm done plugging. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Plugging. I'm done plugging. Uh, handheld heroes. I just figured I'd let you guys know. Also, actually, because I'm plugging that, I feel like it's only fair to plug other speedrunning shit. Even though the shit I was plugging was my own speedrunning shit. But fuck it. I'll plug other speedrunning shit. Um... So I just found out the other day there is apparently a cool, cool marathon going on at the same time as Handheld Heroes. So obviously you guys won't have time to watch Handheld Heroes because, or you won't have time to watch this other marathon because you'll be watching Handheld Heroes. But I'm letting you know it exists. The 1545 is going on. Which I'm actually super excited about watching. I plan to watch that at the same time I'm watching Handheld Heroes. Um, the 1545 is Super Mario 64, 120 stars. Super Mario Sunshine, 120 stars. Super Mario Galaxy 1, 120 stars. Super Mario Galaxy 2, 242 stars. Um, Donkey Kong 64, 100%, or whatever the max is for that. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie max percentage. Again, don't know what the percentage actually is max. And then, um... What was the fucking... There's one more. Oh, the Sprash Fecta. If you guys have never heard of the Sprash Fecta, it's amazing to watch. It's all the, uh... All the Crash and Spyro games max percentage so apparently it's called the 1545 sounds like a hella good time to watch so are you shitting me are you shitting me all this fucking time ah somebody kill me just end it please so this is the first time i was able to grab that gold i figured the ladder would pop down here because that's how some of them end yeah the ladder does not come down here <laughs> Uh, Alright, so... No, not GG. I can't get out. I'm stuck. I figured because there was no way I could grab this gold and get out, so I figured the ladder would come down here. The ladder does not come all the way down here. I was apparently supposed to have those guys sitting there so I could jump on their head. I hate this game. And see, that's the bad thing. Is One of the things with this uh, this game is you'll have puzzles like that, where you can't tell if they're completable or not, and then you, uh, you just have to hope for the best when you grab the last, like, sack of gold, last pile of gold. So apparently, yeah, you are supposed to have those guys, like, there's no way to know that either, that's what really sucks. You're supposed to just magically know that you need them sitting there. Yeah, that's not happening, Alex. Never happening. This game is so much fun. You know, honestly, okay, it's been 27 hours of me playing this game. Today alone has been, um... Today alone has been 13 hours and 20 minutes of me playing this game. Which, I started on level 40 today. So there's only 50 levels, I'm on level 50. I started on level 40. And I've been streaming this game for 13 hours. 
almost 30 minutes at this point in time, and I still maintain it's actually a fun game. I don't know why I maintain it. It's a fun game, but I've played a hell of a lot worse. When I, um, because I wanted to do a console challenge before, and I decided to go with um, Game Boy Advance because when I decided to do this, I have to move these guys around. But when I decided to do this, there were other people already doing Game Boy. So I decided to, uh, <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. I decided to do Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance is just horrible. Don't do, don't do Game Boy Advance. But I will say Game Boy is super fun. So I, I'm having a good time with it so far. It, it like, it was a struggle. It, yeah, it's definitely unfair. That's, I think, the best way to put it. But with the Game Boy Advance thing, it was, it was a struggle. I just never wanted to do it. This is, I think, my third or fourth weekend in a row doing this, and I'm having a blast with it still, so. He is under the gold PPO. Not 10% done, Game Boy is pretty fine. <laughs> Very true. Maybe he's on the left field climb. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. I'll fix that. I mean, yeah, true, I have quite a bit of Game Boy left to play, so my mind will probably change throughout, but I'm having a good time with this far. Yeah, I only stream on weekends because um, that's why I should worry about it later, PPL. Uh, I only stream on weekends because I work 10-hour days. Um, so, I mean, if I was to stream on the weeks, it would seriously be... My, I mean, even the time I work at work, like, the, every every day is different, the amount of hours I work. So sometimes it'll be, like, nine and a half hours, sometimes it'll be eleven hours. There's no way for me to tell. I mean, it can go anywhere from, like, six hours to, um... It can go anywhere from, like, six hours all the way up to eleven, eleven and a half hours. So I never know how much I'm actually working. But, other than that, uh, you know, when I get home... I'm only usually up at my computer for like three or four hours before I go to bed. So I mean, I could stream on the week, on the weekdays, it'd just be really, really short streams. When uh, I get big enough, Win. That's right, I said win. I don't fucking care. I said win. Um, when I get big enough and I have people just throwing money at me. Not, you know, dimes like you are elite. I'm talking about like super mega dimes. Then I could do weeks, but yeah. I would like to do weeks. I've thought about it because I'm, you know, I'm having fun doing, uh, doing this console challenge. But like I said, I'm just I get home from work and I'm just tired. And it also the good thing is it also gives me time to play other games. Or watch TV or movies or what have you, instead of just constantly doing this throughout all the time. Base is loaded 40F. Dude, I He is a god. TMR is a fucking god for doing that. That's not gonna land. I think that was a little too late. Just a smidgen. Nope, okay. Sports games are the worst, man. I just it's hard to classify beating them. Like what you know, classify as beating them, but not beating them. Shit, 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 I'm fucking this up. We gotta go. I'm running out of time. I'm fucking this up. But it's always hard to be like, oh, yeah, that's that's beaten. And I just my big issue with like sports games is I don't want to sit there fucking hours. God damn it, Joshua! I don't want to sit there for hours playing a sports game. And it wouldn't be that bad if it were like fun. I wouldn't mind. 
I wouldn't mind it, but I've only played one sports game so far, and it was FIFA Soccer 97. And I found out within like the first like minute or two, if you shoot from the same spot, no matter how far away you are, the goalie will miss the ball. I mean, there was one point I actually shot, I didn't even mean to. I was lined up and I was trying to like dribble towards him, and I shot, and the goalie dived. Dove? Dove did? The um, goalie dove to block the ball, and uh, he missed, but I was so far away, there wasn't enough power on the ball, there wasn't enough speed, so it just stopped right in front of the goal. <laughs> I was like, okay, that works. So yeah, sports games are a weird one for these uh, console challenges. I just really need to do it exactly like TMR did though, and just lay down. Sounds fucking terrific, just laying down, playing... Playing games. I got my bit too far to do it, whatever. I can see that though. I know this is like super late. I'm just now reading your uh, comment about the gold, but I can see you thinking that they were trees. Oh yeah, I mean if you enjoy playing sports games, that's fine. Like that's what I'm saying. If if you're having fun playing the sports game, it's not that big. It's not that bad. Like I said, the issue is if it's just a lot of older sports games were really easy to. Um, A lot of older sports games are really easy to find that little gimmick to them, like find out exactly where you need to shoot from, like for example like FIFA. Like older fighting games too, there's always like that one way to constantly beat an enemy, you know what I mean? They were really gimmicky if you found that one thing that worked, it was kind of boring to just do that over and over and over again. Yeah. Because, um, I know Mo and myself, we have both beaten, uh, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 for the Game Boy. And, um, me and Mo did the exact same thing for Mortal Kombat 2. There's a high kick you can do, and you can pretty much just came up blocked in this high kick indefinitely if you do it correctly. And Mortal Kombat 1... Mo did um, a leg sweep attack continuously, whereas I found out if you use Sub Zero and use his freeze attack, the enemies for some reason cannot block it. They don't do they don't dodge it, so they just sit there and stare at it. So you freeze them, then you just jump to him and up and gut him. So it's a very very boring game. Plus, Mortal Kombat One runs at like maybe 10 FPS. <laughs> Why didn't you make it any good? <laughs> That's harsh. Oh, man, this stream is so much longer than I was planning for it to be. I didn't think I'd be stuck in this damn game this long. Called the Cat Lab.
two weeks straight. Ugh. Even games I like and enjoy, I couldn't imagine playing. That's one of my big. Uh, that's one of my big issues. I get burned out of stuff really quickly. He's chasing me. He's chasing me. Oof, I knew that was tight. I knew that was going to be tight. Oof. That was close. That was really close. My heart went pit a patter again. No! Holy shit. Oh, my heart just locked up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. That hurt. My heart <laughs> hurts right now. That's a good sign, right? Your heart hurting? <sighs> okay. I can't tell if he's lined up well or not. I'm actually holding my chest right now. You guys can't see that, but I'm actually literally holding my chest. Like, that hurt. I thought for certain that guy was dead because he was like inside the block and I was like, oh shit. <sighs> Terrible game, exactly. Terrible game. I was holding left and up, and I just fell right through and died. I have no idea. Apparently, I wasn't close enough to grab the ladder. I, I have no idea. No clue. Just nothing. PPL, that's the reason why, like, when I was lining them up before, I had the, uh, I had them, like, both lined up underneath there. I hate this game. <laughs> Me too, crazy. You know, I've always, uh, I've always wanted to try it, Eric, Alex, Bob, um, it always sounded cool to me, it always seemed cool, but the issue is the fact that you, uh, you know, it's playing the same game like a million times over, you know? <laughs> delete, oh my goodness, delete, um, one of my buddies, we did some, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, Grant. I'm putting them both in the middle. I actually was planning on doing that, but PPL talked me out of it. And I don't know why I listened to PPL, because my idea was correct. I'm Patrick. <laughs> um, um, Lily, dude, there's a video you have to see if you've never seen it. It's the most fucking satisfying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. A buddy of mine, we uh, were doing like, our own, like, little tiny mystery tournament where me and two people, me, me and two of my friends, we were playing, uh, random games. And, uh, one of the games I picked was a Spider-Man game for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, uh, it's seriously, like, every time I think about the video, I just lose my shit. It's just, it, to me, it's just the funniest thing. Zayla percent, man, it was gorgeous. So we're playing this, right? And we're on SRL, and next thing you know, we just, <laughs> we just see um, it pop up saying Zalo forfeited. We're like, what the fuck, dude? We're like, we just started. Our, so like, um, as we're playing, Zalo puts a link to uh, his Twitch in the, uh, in the Discord or in the uh, IRC, I can't remember which. So after we get done, after I got done, I watched it, 
he's in the plane. He gets pissed off. And like it, the best thing about it is you can hear and then he hits his desk and you just hear fucking shit just falling everywhere. Oh my god. It's the greatest thing to me. But the reason I bring this up is because he actually bought a cartridge of that Spider-Man game and fucking drilled through it. Hey, green tea, why? I'm assuming green tea, why? Green tea? Green tea? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, PPL. Thank okay, guys, seriously, watch that fucking video. It is the funniest fucking thing in the world. I lost my shit. I still lose my shit every time I watch it. It's just, it's too funny to me. The best thing is the noise you hear him make right before he slams his desk. Say, stop watching me. I'm not completing this game anytime soon. Yeah, Grand, that was a, that was a fucking fun night, dude. Oh, I, I was rolling. Just rolling when I watched that. Yeah, yeah, right? It's it's just so perfect. Oh, I I just my best like I said, my favorite part about it is the noise you hear him make right before he slams his desk. It's fucking oh I die. I die every time. Yeah <laughs> Avalanche. There's actually a video, I don't know if uh, it's still, like, if it was on his YouTube or his Twitch or whatever, I don't know if it's still available anywhere, but yeah, he actually fucking buys a cartridge of the game and he actually just fucking drills through the cartridge. The best thing about that, that well, I don't know, that video is the best thing, but uh, another good thing about that happening is he told me a couple days later he was looking for a cartridge of a game. He never found it. Like, months later, he never found this cartridge of a, on another video game. He fucking lost a game. Because when he slammed his desk, he apparently just flung this fucking cartridge somewhere in his house. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's the gift that keeps on giving. That's pretty much what that video, that whole moment is. I feel like I had the timing really, really well on the uh, the first guy. Now I'm just fucking it up. Yeah, there it is. Thank you, PPL. Man, PPL, I'm so glad you're here right now. You're just dropping the videos. And notice I did say right now. That was there for a reason. Yeah, the, the, those cards are surprisingly durable. And, and, because I just, this moment was so amazing to me, um, <laughs> he actually put a video of him actually building a desk afterwards. So, like, he actually went out and bought a new desk and he actually built it, put it together, and set it up. <laughs> so, there's a video, like, you get, like, the whole fucking thing going on there, you know, you get him de destroying the desk, him destroying the cartridge, him buying a new desk and putting it together. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So at least I haven't done that yet, you know? I mean, as mad as I have been at this game, I haven't destroyed my fucking desk yet. Yeah, I was like, that's that timing shit. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe you guys are still here. Like, that's what really amazes me. I assume you're all here because you're like, man, he's just so close to beating the game. He's just, he's right there. He's just right there. And it's just not happening. 
See, I know that's why you're all here, and you're gonna leave the moment I'm done. So I'm purposely fucking up. I'm just, I'm raking in the viewer count at the moment. I'm like, ah, I never get this many people. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm in the music. <laughs> Thanks, Granin. You don't wear pajamas when you destroy shit? You're destroying shit incorrectly. I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, conversation. The music, I, I don't understand how I'm still enjoying it, but... It's that it's that eight bit music, man. Like I don't know I don't know how. It, it's always able to be good. Alex knows Granon? No. It's a Redfield, right? Is that right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Alex might know Granon too. I I don't know. Wow, delete. Wow. Wow. No, not 70 hours. Pause the timer. Pause the timer. Oh, fuck you, dude. Come on, let me get through that. 70 hours. And you know, terrifying about that 70 hours. 27 and a half of it has been this game. Rip 70 hours. It was a dream that was never even close to happening. You know, it, it kills me too, though, because like I said, I was super close to getting sub-24. Well, I can't say super close, because I wasn't actually super fucking close at any point in time, but... There's no way how I'm gonna get both of them. Dream to dream. Oh, fucking, I was hitting... Oh, I was like, what the hell? I'm sitting there hitting the button. I was hitting A. <sighs> it, it's... It's... It hasn't been a good day. What the fuck? It's been 13 hours. It's been 13 hours. Somebody stop me. All right, here we go. We got this. Oh, we got this. Ser super, super serious mode. Been here since hour two. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I've been here since hour zero. Why would you guys want to take a walk in the rain? That sounds horrible. Then again, I don't own an umbrella. You know those very basic fucking things that most human beings own? Yeah, I don't own that. You know what I'm really craving right now, besides food? I really want a fucking cup of coffee, man. Uh, green tea. If you go underneath my stream, there's a giant... Um, there's a giant Game Boy. If you click on that, it actually will send you to my, um, uh, spreadsheet. Which actually says what the next game is. If the next game's a puzzler, man, then I'm playing puzzling. I actually have no idea what the next game is, I forget. I rolled these games. I seriously, I rolled these games like a week and a half ago. I've just been stuck on this for so fucking long. I haven't checked them in forever. Next game, Kirby Star Stacker. <laughs> cool World, that's right. By the way, if you guys have not seen the cover art for Cool World, it's super cool. And I know that sounded dumb. But, uh... Yeah. So I'm really, actually really excited to uh, put that cover art on my uh, layout. Oh, okay, so it's been really hot for you guys, so you're like, oh yeah, super excited. See, for me, I live I live in Ohio, and all it's been doing is raining, which sucks because I've been like desperately wanting to make sun tea. And please tell me you guys know what sun tea is, because every time I seem to mention it to people, they're like, what the fuck is sun tea? But I've been desperately wanting to make sun tea. And I haven't been able to. And, uh... It's just been raining so much. You're not dumb, you just have torn meniscus. 
Dude, what the fuck, man? I felt like I had the timing for this perfectly, and now it's just nowhere, even close. See, I usually do it like, I usually, because I, you know, I work nights. Um, so I usually put it out, like, right before going to bed, and then wake up, and I got a pitcher of tea. I just need to add, uh, some sugar to it, and put it in the fridge. Sun tea, I actually, you know, it's funny, I actually explained this to somebody at work, and they thought I was lying to them. I'm like, no, dude, I'm dead serious. It's literally, um, taking, like, a pitcher of tea, or, you know, taking a pitcher of water, putting tea bags in it, and then setting it outside in the sun. I never said I prefer coffee. I like both of them. And they're, they're different. Coffee is a nice, uh, a morning wake-me-up drink. And whenever I feel like fucking drinking coffee. And teas... I mean, I, you know, I, I, I don't... I don't know. I drink hot tea, I drink cold tea. I can't drink cold coffee. Cold coffee's... Who the fuck came up with cold coffee? Cafefi? Uh, cold coffee is just horrible. No, I'm just... Okay, so I recently got a French press. I don't know if we have any coffee drinkers in here. But, um... I recently got a French press. Oh, dude, it makes such good coffee. Such, such good coffee. So, like, I, I only drink coffee on the weekend because I... I literally wake up with, like, just enough time to shower, eat, and get out the fucking door before work. So I don't have time to, uh, mess with my French press. So I only drink coffee on the weekends. Like, I, I really- I look forward to the weekends so much for so many different reasons. One of them's coffee. I love waking up and having a nice cup of coffee. And, uh... Yeah, man, I'm, I'm enjoying my French press coffee. It's delicious. Okay, I'm doing this way too soon. I, you know, delete, I actually, I think I... I can't remember ever drinking Snapple, except for, I think my first time was, um... almost a month ago. I was having dinner with my stepmom, and, uh... She offered me tea. I'm like, yeah, I'll take some damn tea. You know, I fucking love some tea. And it was Snapple. Good stuff. I try to should buy one, yeah. I, I actually have been looking at mugs. I was talking about that early in the stream, PPL. Um, so... Like, I want a nice, a nice mug, like, kind of bigger, and it's just a cool mug. Not your basic fucking Walmart mug, you know? I want a nice mug. I, PPL thinks I'm weird for that. But I was looking on Amazon. Dude, Amazon has shitty mugs. So, I'm kind of disappointed. Really, that's awesome. I don't think I've ever actually drank um, anything Starbucks before. Amazon mugs do suck. They do. Like, they have, like, very little variety. It's just like, here's basic fucking shit you can buy at the store. I'm like, dude, I want, like, a cool fucking mug. Like, there was one, um... Like, there was a couple I came across that were decently, like, decently cool, but... They had, like, almost no reviews, because I think it, like, it was so hard for me to find. I imagine nobody else is finding them, unless they're actually, like, searching for it. There was, um, like, a Harry Potter mug. I thought was pretty cool. A cool mug. You you would know what a cool mug is if you got a cool mug. <laughs> I guess that's the best way I can explain it. Okay, okay, when I was talking about it earlier, earlier, there was a picture I saw online. Somebody has, like, all the characters from, um... And I, I guess not all the characters, but a bunch of Disney characters. Like, one of them was Jack Skellington and stuff like that. Like, that type of mug, you know? Like, something that's just not a basic fuck. Like, here. Mug. Basic mug. I don't want that. I want, a, I want a cool mug. And by the way, that's a mug that's been sitting in my room fucking ever now. Because that was from the mug of coffee I had when I started the stream. So, yeah. 
a bit more of Troge trivia. <laughs> Get a mug with this load runner screen on it. They actually have Game Boy uh, mugs, but I don't like the the mugs that have um, like the screen that appears when it gets hot. I had I had some of those when I was a kid. Those suck because they go bad really quickly. But other than that, the Game Boy mug was pretty cool. Because like when it got hot, it was weird because when it got hot, it apparently came up with the uh, Super Mario Land screen. Which I thought was a weird choice. What is my next game, by the way? Oh, in the cool world. Dude. Uh, 14 hours. Give me a break. 14 hours. Jesus. Does anybody else want to stream? Take over for me? You know, most people on their days off do shit, I don't know, a lot more exciting than play Lo Load Runner for 14 hours. I would love that delete. You know what the bad thing is, delete? I, I imagine you would beat this on your first try. I mean, I'm really, I'm, I'm really taking forever here. Like, I'm really fucking up the timing on this. I'd take over if I was there. I'll fly to uh, Finland, PPL, and then you can take over. If everybody just gives me a, a few hours to pack up and fly to Finland. You know, I, you know what's weird though? I can't tell you the last time I played 14 straight hours of a video game. I, I really can't tell you the last time I spent 14 straight hours playing a video game in general, just any video game. Like, I always take breaks. Okay, last weekend, here's what's crazy too. Last weekend, I streamed 10 hours and 10 minutes, then 11 hours and 10 minutes, and then just shy of 8 hours. So, last weekend was what, like 30 hours, something like that. And I'm trying to just beat that now this week in just one day. Apparently. Just see an empty webcam and then it's like, oh, I'm back! I, I think Twitch should. I mean, I'd appreciate it. Do you think Twitch has gold medals? Maybe I should get a hold of their uh, customer support. Like, yeah, I streamed like a shit ton of hours this weekend. And last weekend. Can, uh, can I get something for that? Have I become the load runner? If I became the load runner, I'm pretty sure I would have beaten this game by now. Should have a state hydrated bot for this. You know, honestly, I am so massively dehydrated. Okay. Because you mentioned that. I woke up, had a coffee, and that's all I've had. So I drank a little bit of coffee when I started this stream. I haven't had anything to drink since. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to I'm going to die here soon, and not only that, uh, my throat's just gonna collapse on me because I've been talking nonstop for how many hours. I was I seriously I wasn't planning on going like this long on Load Runner. Like this was supposed to be done like 17 hours ago. 17 hours sounds about the right estimate. I probably should. But then, like, okay, here's the, here's the reason why I haven't. It's the belief that at any point in time, I'm going to be done with this game. You know, how many times have I I've fully collected... I thought I was going to be done with this game sub 24 hours. I'm now getting close to Granin's time, which I thought he had a really good time when I first started playing this, and then I realized, oh man, he had a decent time, but I, you know, could apparently beat it pretty easily. And then I realized that, you know, yeah. Ugh, I hate, I hate, I hate that. I get everything done, then I gotta do that. 
But no, Granite's time I thought was gonna be like impossible to beat. I'm not shitting on Granite. I thought his time was good, and then like I found out, I was like, oh, okay, it wasn't as good as I thought. How about we go with that? It's like, it wasn't as good as I thought. Alright, boys and girls. My itches. That moment when a game, goddamn Game Boy game, has more hours gameplay than the average AA title, right? Right? Ah, oh, okay. If I. If I die here again, I'm losing my shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Say it ain't fucking so. <sighs> oh my god. Fucking. <laughs> oh. oh, fucking finally. I was so scared some do some just stupid shit was gonna happen. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy right now. I don't think I've ever been this happy after beating a game. <sighs> I'm I'm trying to read this, but I just I'm trying to I always read the shit for the stream, and I'm just I'm not I'm just not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fuck the timer, it can run longer. Oh, I'm so happy. I read something about a dark sword. Why is there a dark sword involved? I'm actually supposed to be going to sleep in like four minutes. That's my that's when I usually go to sleep is like nine thirty-five. Oh my goodness. A fourteen hour stream. Game all clear. And that's when you stop the timer. Oh my 